up everybody welcome to the gym good morning happy wednesday hopefully you're having a lovely day ready for some pokemon trading card game action because that's what we got on the agenda today hopefully you guys enjoyed that stream starting screen you know at this point all we can do is laugh laughing helps it's good for the soul it's good for the heart you know just have a good chuckle about it. That's uh, it's the best we can do, you know. I've got some. Uh, here I am. All right, cool. There's a red box. I was like, "What's the red box?" All right, cool. Got some Crown Zenith stuff to do, so we're gonna hop right to it. That's what we got going on. Thank you, KK Slider, for the prime sub in the two months. Thank you, VHC Gaming, for getting us started. So last time we left off, last time we left off, we were... Uh, we were working on Radiant Eternatus with the mixed results. Thank you, Beals, for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Yeah, with mixed results, it was a uh, it was I, right, but we got more stuff that we can do. Um, you know, not just Radiant Eternatus, though. I would like to work on Radiant Eternatus. I feel like Radiant. E Radiant Eternatus is good content. I saw... Is that a morning for Loco? God, no. <laughs> it's one of these... Like, seltzer waters. Sparkling, flavored sparkling water. Yeah. Is that a... No, I'm not... Uh, you know, not uh, not 21 anymore. I'm not 22 either, or 23, or even 28. <laughs> yeah. I got a crown put in this morning, so my... Uh, <clears throat> I like the mango chainsaw. That one's really good. Yeah, the mango chainsaw is right on the money. I got a crown put on this morning. Man. So that's a little uh, sensitive. It's kind of crown for crown zenith. Yeah, it's a little sensitive. Kind of uh, hurts. But that's okay. No, they don't have to redo the crown. When you go and when you go to get a crown, at the first appointment, they put on a temp while they like create your permanent crown in the factory somewhere and then and then you go in and they pop out the temp they literally nice lady with a with a pair of pliers was just like open wide and just you know plucked the uh plucked it out now i saw <clears throat> Yo, thanks, Brandon. Any primers? Yo, let's go. Did you know that Jeffrey Bezos gives you a free Amazon Prime sub every month? It's crazy. I appreciate that. I saw... What was it? I saw... Grant Manley said he went like 40 and 7 or something. Like on a 40-something and like 5 win streak. Like... With his Arceus Duraludon deck. And that's like... <laughs> ain't that... Yeah, 41 and 9. Ain't that just exciting? Arceus Duraludon. I know. Not even the Eternity, the Radiant Eternatus one, man. So let's see. All right. What, what were we working? I was like really deep. I was really deep in the... Radiant Eternatus Mines last time we left off. And it wasn't... It wasn't going anywhere pretty. 
with Radiant Eternatus. Also, I want to talk a little bit about... Um, I love like yeah, lightning's my favorite type of Pokemon, but Rotom is bad is the problem. What about Rotom V-Star? It's not a good card. Is it fun? <laughs> Build the tag. <laughs> All right, how is this card good? Uh-huh. It just one-shots everything. Uh-huh. But it's only got 250 HP and it loses to everything. You're just going to play against Lost Box. Every single deck you play against is Lost Box, Lost Box, Lost Box. What's 300 damage to a Sableye? What's 300 damage to a Cramorant? What's 300 damage to a Regigigas? Like... I don't even see what deck we're beating with this. You could beat Arceus decks. That's about it. So I'm going to have to just queue on the ladder until I play against... I'm going to have to queue on the ladder until I play against an Arceus deck. You think you can beat Lugia? Don't they just set up and knock you out with Radiant Charizard or... All right, Shin's got it. At least there's, there's somewhat of like hope that I can beat other things with things like Aerodactyl, but I just don't see. All right, fine. Here we go. Yeah, all right. This is where we're going. This where we're going to go today? Sure. That's fine. That's fine. Listen. You play the Sky Seal? Yeah, that's kind of broken. Okay, sure. We'll go here. It is Crown Zenith. Is this card not from Crown Zenith? Quit playing with me, dog. That's a crown right there. This is Crown Zenith content. Don't play with me. God, my tooth hurts so bad. All right, here we go. So, so what? How do you get? How do you get energy on this guy? How do we get? How do we get tools in the law zone? So for okay, so first you gotta get tools into the discard pile. All right. Oh, it's all crown. He's from Crown Zena too. Okay, cool. But your favorite card, experience share. That's okay. All right, all right. Do we play any other? We play like Mew in here. I also want to talk about how you guys think that um, Don't play Mew. You have so much draw already. How? What do you do? That's a terrible V-Star power. All right. I 
Gonna want like be a two orangaroo. Gonna want like a couple crowbet. Oh, that's not the V Star power. Okay, got it. Yeah, we're not using that. We're gonna use uh, our Sky Seal Stone, right? Okay. True. One guru. Like that. All right, so we play all the single strike tools. Is this what you guys are into? All the scrolls? And then Tower of Dankness. That's what we're doing. You don't have room in this deck for tech because you need 17 tools. Ah, got it. You don't like this build? Well, Ahmed, where do you go? Where do you go with it? You don't like the, the Tower of Dark? Oh, well, it's cool. We'll try both ways. How do you prefer it, Ahmed? Air Balloon and Big Charm. You definitely need Shoe. Ooh, that's a nice Shoe. You need some Balloons. Okay. Discard the prizes they take. <laughs> hmm. So we got to get a lot of tools in the discard pile, and then we knock things out. All right. Fine. Scroll of the Fanged Dragon. We'll cut that one. We got research. We got boss. Probably can be Serena, actually. Okay. Probably need experience here. Probably need how many tools we got so far? Four, let's see, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Cool. Lightning. Yeah, you could play a forest seal stone too. True. Dig that. Need some lightning energies. So we'll play some of these. Play a grant. That's cool. Always we'll have the option to to discard tool cards from your hand. That's kind of cute. And you want some speed lightnings for now, yeah. Five lightning, three speed lightning. I th yeah, something like that seems fine. All right, how are we getting energy into play in this thing? Experience, attach and experience share? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, we need four ultra ball, four quick ball, true. Oh, yeah, he's nice. Shush. All right, I'm 61 cards. Here we are. 
That's cool. Azul streamed Rotom V Star. That's nice. Does that mean that I sh I can't do it, or how do how do you think we should proceed? Should I just give up? What do you what do you think? Random account too. Should we just go home? Turn off the computer? Of course, other content creators. We're all working together. We're all creating content on the new cards. There's like not that many, you know. <laughs> Simpsons did it. Yeah, the Simpsons already did it. Just give up. Come on, guys. It's going to be fun. All right. We got four Serena, four Research, two Crobats. We got 61 cards in the deck. Not enough tools? What? Well, he does Scrap Pulse 80 plus. We, we need... We can't just go energy... Um... You can't just go energy attach and expect that to work. We also, you got to play Drapion in here, right? And you just got to play one of those bad boys. Probably our minus one tool overall. Bead? Rotom doesn't need Drapion? You go Drapion with the Sky Seal Stone, you give him the Biznaz. Gus the Genesex? We're just getting smoked. What? They're just going to go Meloetta, knock out your Rotom. All right. Okay, sure, sure. Don't need the Drapion. All right. Just don't queue into Mew. All right, what if we play against... Uh... What if we play against Regigigas? What do we do against that? Any ideas? All right. And what if what if we play against Lost Box? What do we do against that? All right. So against Regigigas and Lost Box, we're scooping. All right. Just to be clear, that's the that's the strategy. Okay. I just want to I just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page so that there's no disappointment when we don't beat those decks. Okay. Now, how are we getting energy to stay on our guys? You really think we're doing experience share? Is that what we're doing? Experience share with that's just what we're doing? What if we play this guy? A? No, it's only basics. Dang it. EXP share seems quite bad. I'll be honest with you. That does not seem very good. Share and a Raihan or two. Yeah. I could see a little flaffy line. We could fit, squeeze like a 2 2 in here or a Trode. What is the Trode? All right, let's look at those guys.
You get to attach them to your lightning Pokemon in any way you like. That's kind of what I think. I think Trode's kind of the sauce. Like a little 2-2 two -two Trode line. Got to play the uh, the Kamiya one. Okay. You could definitely go three trekking shoes. You could definitely go minus one energy. You could definitely go minus one tool card. You can definitely go minus one Rotom V Star. You can go. Huh. Oh, the Kamiya Torb, you could tower it. True. You go minus one. You can attack with the basic Rotom. Well, you don't need three V-Stars. The shoe seems so good. All right, what do the toolboxes do? Any number of tool... All right. I rock with that. Okay. I'm thinking that we're like Is Articuno worth it? Yeah, probably. All right, so all right. I guarantee you we cut this card so fast. What's the nicest one? The the crowbat that that thing has got to be there, dude. God, there's so many nice Galarian Articunos. How in the world can you pick? Like what? They're so nice. I gotta turn my space heater on. It's getting getting chilly in here. The gold one matches the yellow. All right, it's it's yellow like the rest of the deck. All right, I'm into that. And then I'm thinking. Yeah, now we're on point. Look at that. That's a slick-looking squad right there. Okay, we're at 60 cards. The Guru's your pivot. Yeah! I liked having the Guru in the deck. I'm not going to lie. You lose to Mill Tank and it's okay? Nah, -uh, I'm gonna electric ball it. Nah, we're chilling. All right, we're going one Crobat, one Oranguru. Come on, who's playing? Who's playing uh, Mill Tank? Couldn't see it. All 
What do you guys think? You think we're going to get a Rotom video? There's no chance, right? Especially since we've got so many jokesters that are just going to be like, Haha, free win versus tricky. I'm going to queue up with my last box deck. Bet he can't beat that. I'm pretty sure my ELO is kind of tanked right now. So. Who knows? Oh, yeah. We're cooking, dude. This deck is nuts. What does this do? That's insane. All right. Oh, okay, we're, so we scoop this one, yeah. All right. It's fine. All right, next one, next one, next one. I told you guys, just to be clear, you we already agreed. You cannot beat that deck. All right, so you lose to, like, half the metagame, on, like, automatically. But this is the deck you guys wanted me to build today. Just to be clear. Half of the metagame is an auto loss. All right. But you still want to see it. Okay. So we're going to scoop this one too. Right. So you guys see, this is why I try to tell you guys. The only deck you're going to beat is like an Arceus deck. That's it. And that's like a maybe. Just keep going. I'm not even going first. See, look, this is where you end up. All right. Looks like I'm up against a Duralodon. Looks like I'm up against a Duralodon VMAX Lost Box deck that uses Banet to help recover supporter cards and get cards into the Lost Zone. They're starting off pretty strong, not going to lie. Double Battle VIP Pass, that is spicy. And four Shuppet in play. That is something. Cool. Well, let's get cooking. We've got a Voltor. We've got a Lightning Energy. We've got Quick Ball away. Quick Ball, and we can go get another Rotom. And then Serena and discard these. Okay. I'll instant charge to draw three cards and end my turn. Still have no idea what my opponent's going for. Ah, there's the Duralodon. It's in the discard pile now. So I'm not exactly sure how they're going to get this thing into play or power it up. If Duralodon is their main attacker, I'm not terribly concerned about that because I can one hit KO the Duraldon pretty easy with my Rotom V's scrap short attack or Rotom V Stars version which does 40 more damage they've got Pokestop and they're still out here grinding no Duraldon V in play yet. That was intentional. They could have battle VIP passed for it and decided not to. So now they can use 
puppet gathering to get more Colbris in the discard pile. At this point, it's, uh, you know, like, why not just play Comfy? I don't know, but it's fine. They're still cooking. Quick ball. Discarding a Ranguru. And I wonder if we'll finally see an attacker. Maybe. But who knows? Ah, it's Radiant Eternatus. Okay. So they're going to use Radiant Eternatus with its climactic gate ability to probably go search out some Duraldon. Ah, Duraldon and Flying Pikachu. And put them straight onto the bench. Well, this is going to go pretty well for us, I think. Because we don't uh, really have any issues with either of these. We've got two, three, two. Two tools in the discard pile so far. That's fine. Let's thin the deck with Buzz App Generator. And we're going to put one Lightning Energy there and one Lightning Energy here. And then my opponent gets to take a prize card. Then I'm going to use Pokestop. Holy smokes. What a terrible use of Pokestop. <laughs> Man, I was like thinking I was going to use that Crobat. Should have, should have probably ultra balled for that first, but you know, it's it's cool though. <laughs> it's cool. All right. I'm not doing enough damage yet. A little speed lightning energy here. Okay. Now we're pretty much chilling, I think. We can Ultra Ball away these two. And we'll go get a Rangaroo. We've got the Sky Seal Stone, but I've only got one, two, three, four. We've got five in the loss in the discard pile right now. So that that's enough. I mean, five, yeah, we could do it. So we just go here. Well, I guess I should have attached the speed lightning here and then retreated. Yeah, that's fine. Anyways, yeah, I, I, I goofed this up, but it's cool. We're just going to go Serena and bring up the flying Pikachu and do it this way. Put down the Orangaroo. And uh, then I can scrap short for the knockout. We're going to take four prizes on this thing. And yeah, let's do that. So one, two, how many do I have to do? Uh, three. A three? Wait, you have to activate it? Why would I have to activate it? Ain't it automatic? This is crazy, bro. <laughs> it's it's cool, brother. We're fine. <laughs> I thought it was like a once during your turn when this basic Pokemon I thought it would activate like during the attack phase I guess that is fine it's chill we're chilling yeah no sweat we got this one easy it doesn't matter it's not like they're gonna bench a two prize Pokemon okay yeah <laughs> it doesn't matter
Yeah, we're just playing around N. Right, 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 right. See? And listen, it's my first time trying to use the card. Why did why was there a big rule box to select? I thought that was Rotom's like ability or something. Well, this is annoying. It's cool, though. We still got it. No, I'm playing like a buffoon, all right? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm playing like a buffoon. I can take it. You know, when I'm playing bad, it's fine. We're just going to have to uh, play our way out of a little hole right now. That's okay. It's my first time ever attempting to use Sky Seal Stone. Now I know you gotta activate. Oh, uh, gotta activate it. That's cool. So here's what we gotta do. First of all, it was not that. We needed to promote Rotom. Why didn't I promote Rotom? What am I doing? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm really just saving for the conversion star, you know? Yeah, it's, it's easy. It's easy. So they're going to take two prizes this turn guaranteed. That's fine. And what we can do this this yeah, I actually probably messed this up because they could just evolve into Bennett and they can gust up and knock out. No, no, I'm chilling. Okay. Yeah, we're chilling for sure. No, 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 no. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. We just got to find one of them EXP shares. Yeah, that's cool. I know they have boss in hand. We're chilling though. See, so, okay, now I need to find an energy though. So what we're going to do, any number of cards in hand, then draw that many cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing that for sure. So I need to, first of all, we're going to back order, and we're going to go get these gamers right here. Okay. And then we're going to set up checkmate is what we're going to do. So long as they don't have a way to remove my tool. They wouldn't have that, right? No, they wouldn't. All right, not you. We're going to see we're cooking now. We're going to conversion star. See? One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to save my EXP shares. I don't really only need one EXP share. That's fine. Can we go here? I can't attack Duraldon's invincible to see I needed to retreat this guy. That was is fine, it's fine, it's fine. See, we're chilling. And then we toolbox. There's a basic lightning left. That's cool. All right. And we Instant charge. All right, all right, all right. That's all we had to do. Now we're chilling. Then we just smack it. There's no way they have boss vacuum. No chance. Now, I could have avoided this if I just promoted the Rotom V-Star and retreated it. That's all I needed to do. I needed to promote this this turn, not the Rangaroo. That's my fault. That's my fault. 
but I was just so thirsty to use back order. But I should have used, I should have used just retreat into a Rangaroo, then use back order. That's what I needed to do. There's no reason not to run the Trode because all you guys give up two prizes. There's no reason not to. Listen, they had four... They had four Shup It Out turn one. There's no way they've got... There's no way they've got vacuum too. Okay, so, you know, they've got the knockout, but no vacuum. Let's go, baby. That's GG's. Listen, it was a little rough getting there. But I'm pretty sure that we got there. This The math needs to check out on this, right? I mean, come on. You just discard those. and I'm assuming we have enough tools. If we don't, this deck is... That's got to be it, right? All right, cool. All right, that's a broken deck right there. See, and I could have played way better. Yeah, like this next game. This next game. Yeah, this next game we're playing flawlessly. Can I pick the prediction result? I don't even know what the prediction was. Holy smokes. Choose outcome. I guess it's no, but actually yes. Thank you, cool dude and Marty Party for those subs. Appreciate you guys. We're up against Mew V Max. Holy smokes. Man. How are we going to win? I guess we're just hoping they don't have Meloetta. All right. We're up against Mew V Max with our broken. <laughs> We're up against Mew V Max with our broken Rotom V Star deck. They're going first and they're setting up pretty well. A couple of Mew, bunch of Genesex. We've got a nice looking hand ourselves with a couple of quick balls. Rotom V. I'm feeling pretty good about this. No sign of Meloetta so far, so that that's good for us also. We're going to bench Rotom, and we are probably going to Crobat this turn. So, yeah, let's quick ball away that. Take a look at the deck. We've got Voltorb, and then I can quick ball away. Definitely want to get Voltorb. There's one Electrode in the deck. Cool. Let's attach an energy to my benched Rotom and then quick ball away the Serena, actually, and go get Crobats and wheel Dark Assets for a big draw. And I was thinking that we would probably find a research, so I'm thankful that we did. Let's go 
experience share onto the active, ultra ball away these guys, and we'll go get a Rangaroo, and then research, and we find a Tower of Darkness, which we'll gladly play. And then we can use Instant Charge, draw some more cards. Seems good. All right, all right. Save the Ultra Ball for now. Let's do that. End our turn. And draw three. Great. Finds us the research. But these Mew decks can be kind of crafty, you know? They might go for a Judge path to the peak play and sure enough there is the judge so my big glorious hand getting set to just four cards you hate to see that and they've got the mew and the double turbo energy so they can easily lay waste to my rotom Now, if we're worried about this matchup at all, we can easily just add in a single Drapion V, which makes this matchup very easy. Because turn one there, I could just retreat into Drapion and take a two-prize turn. And then they have to knock out the Drapion, and when they do that, I can take a big knockout with Rotom. So, I think one Drapion really shures this matchup up. They're just going to swing with Mew. No path to the peak. Not that it matters. I only got one Crobat in this deck, so... Here we go. I guess we might as well promote to Ranguru. At worst, it can get two tools. So... That's fine. We've got... Rotom V-Star... We'll bench this guy and Serena to discard our whole hand and draw some cards. Okay. Then we can Tower of Darkness and draw some more. Then we can... Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, we basically got it already. So we'll back order. And we'll go get experience shares. That's fine. Okay. And then we're going to want to... I guess I don't need to put that there because I can always just use you know, blow up my electrode and do it. Though there's not a lot of basic energy left in my deck. And by not a lot, I mean like there might be one. So we do need to attach this air balloon here. We do need to attach this basic lightning here. Then we can use conversion star. Discard any number of cards from my hand and draw that many cards. That's pretty good because I need to discard some tools. So we can go... Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five in the discard pile now. So so long as I are doing 80 plus 40 more, so four times five is 200, 280. So I have to do uh, 330, 280. So we need two more tools in, in the discard pile. So let's go conversion star. We're going to discard one, two, three, four cards. That's fine. There we go. And then we can put that down. And we can Ultra Ball away these two. And go get the Electrode. And there are no energies in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fine. Then we're, we're going to retreat into Rotom. And we need to do 
Uh, let's see. So 7 times 4 is 280. Yeah, plus 260. That's the multiplier, right? It is 260. We can't do 220 because it's not going to be enough with the or choreo. So we need to scrap pulse and put 7 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We got the knockout later, Mew. Rotom V-Star taking three pretty prize cards. Love it. We'll do that. Now, thankfully, we've got this EXP share here. I don't have any other basic energy in my deck. My other one is prized. And since my other energy is prized... I will uh, lose this game if my opponent uses vacuum on this EXP share. Yeah. So we're really hoping that they do not do that. That would be bad. However, if they do not, we're chilling. Looks like they're going to gust up a Rangaroo. They want to try and take the tool finding out at the source. If they knock out a Rangaroo, I'm chilling. I can rock with that for sure. I do think after this matchup, I'm definitely adding a single Drapion in here, though. Even if we win, bro. Drapion's going to make this so much smoother, dude. <laughs> Roxanne. Okay. You got to got to slap a Drapion in here. Come on now. They've got their V-Star power. They can go get whatever they want out of their deck. They discarded Vacuum. Yeah, well, you know, I can't make their plays for them. Yep. Would have been good to use on the XP share and knock out the Rotom. Then I am out of luck. I guess I do have this Electrode here, which probably looks pretty... Like, I get it. I got the Electrode right here. There's a reason why they're like, you know. But here's the problem. Is that... After this Roxanne, I can't do anything. I don't have any cards. I don't have any draw. I don't have anything. I'm doing like two damage. Yeah, it's looking uh looking bad. Well, okay, okay. Well Well I shouldn't have well, shouldn't have promoted that. Anyways, fine. Okay. Man, I really needed that uh, Articuno to not be prized. That'd be sick. But my Articuno is prized. And I cannot get it. Let's see. We've only got one, two, three, four, five. That is not the seven that we need. Maybe they don't have it. If only that's what I'm saying, just a Drapion, dude. Okay. All right. We're learning some things. First of all, you never go anywhere 
without your drapey on. Duh. All right. No playing that one. Has Guru been worth it? On the fence with him. Uh, that's looking pretty nice right there. That's chill. That's chill. Cool. We're vibing now. I think another Crobat would be sick. But then you're just going to open it a lot. It's going to be super annoying. You don't need heavy ball. Just don't prize your stuff. If you're prizing, if you're prizing things, just next game. Attach a scroll to Voltorb, then discard it when you have Volt to Electro. Attach it again and. It doesn't get discarded when you evolve into Electrode. It just doesn't work. All right, we're going first. Here we go. Hey, look, there he is. Nice of you to come hang out, bud. It, when it gets KO'd, but yes, he was saying that I could double discard off the Electrode. I can't. Ah, right, we scooped the Lost Box, though. See, we've already talked about that. So we're scooping the Lost Box, we're scooping to Gigas, and we're scooping the Mew without the Drapion in there, so we had to put the Drapion in so that we have at least one positive matchup on the ladder. Okay. And we're scooping to Regigigas. All right, so we're going to lose the Lost Box. So we're going to scoop that. We are doing a lot of scooping, but chat chat wanted this, though. What I'm saying is, like, we could spend hours, you know, grinding through all these good decks that auto-win us, or we could just scoop straight to the bad decks, the ones that we can beat. Thank you, Ryu Kage, for the 43 months. We just have to keep scooping till we get to the bad decks, because those are the ones that we can beat. But chat wanted this. Ah, yeah, I gotta scoop that one too. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? You can't play fun decks on the ladders. There's lost box, lost box. You're just going to lose the lost box. You're going to lose the Regigigas. You see why I'm telling you we can't do this? Is all day. I do this all day. I know it's lost box. That's what's on the ladder. It's lost box. It's Regigigas. There's a Mew sprinkled in there every once in a while. You're never going to hit anything else. You just got to build a deck that autos Lost Box, and then you'll start playing against the Arceus decks. Okay, see? That's it. We're done. We're not doing it anymore. Okay. Here we go. Was that fun? Did we like that? We're 3 and 10.
Did we have fun doing that? Was that a fun, enjoyable experience for everybody? Keep losing till you see a Clefairy and go from there. I don't know. Chat always tells me, yeah, make the Rotom deck. Make the Rotom deck. But you can't beat, like, you can't beat stuff with that. <laughs> Not the stuff that you're going to see on the ladder, man. All right, let's. I'm down to get spicy, but it's got to be, it's got to be something that beats Lost Box. Did I delete all of my Radiant Eternatus decks? Was I that fed up? I may have. I just said, whatever, when I come back, we're going to start fresh. Okay. So we should just play Lost Box is what you're saying. All right. No, I need to make content with new Crown Zenith cards. Have to. Regigigas is not good, right? Three hundred hit points, weak to fighting. Terrible V Star power. No, yeah, that's... Why would we do that? All right, how is this beating Lost Box? Chat will be like, okay, all right. The Rotom deck... I see that that deck, yeah, I, I can see how that deck's not beating Lost Box. Let's try playing this card, which also can't beat Lost Box. Sword Star Confi. It gets worse than Zashi and V when you evolve it. Break Edge does less damage. So what has to happen is we have to play Lost Box. But we have to build the perfect anti-ladder Lost Box deck. This guy. He's good. Okay, so what kind of energy we got? Psychic metal and water.
Ooh, I can play shinies. You can play rank. You need Raikou for Lugia. What Lugia? I haven't seen a Lugia in days. Where are them Lugia at? Let's see. What other... Uh... What, well, Sky Steel? Yeah, we could you gotta play Raihans if you play that. So we could say I mean this guy revenges for two twenty, brother. I mean he's just nuts, right? For Stoutland, we haven't played against a Lugia deck in days. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen a Lugia. It's just Lost Box, bro. It's just Lost Box. That's all it is. It's just Lost Box. It's all we play against is Lost Box. We don't need... You just retaliate the Stoutlin. You don't need these energy recyclers. Yeah, you probably. I mean, we're not playing the Kyogre, right? Kyogre needs a lightning. Yeah. Could play a Kyogre. But I don't feel like it vibes. All right. Is there anything else? Any other cool, crazy cards that we could put in, like a Zamazenta, Sableye, Radiant Greninja deck? New Abso. I see a cap there, though. The other Kyogre, he's cool. Not him. Him. Oh, he takes four energy though. That's a that's a definite not. Amazing Rayquaza takes lightning, grass, and fighting. None of which are in this deck, as it is right now. I'm down to jam an amazing rare Kyogre in here. I just want to try out like a Zamazenta Lost Box deck. Like Zamazenta is a, a house. This one? I mean, we could still play this card. We just have to keep the energy recyclers. I think we can just Rely. I mean, even against a deck like Regigigas, you get Zamazenta going. They can't really knock it out. Then you could, like, scoop up net it, you know, 
Mirage Gate again and, and go. So, like, yeah, I, I think the idea just... If you're doing 250 damage with Zamazenta, that's pretty good. You can finish things off with Sableye. I like that a lot. You know, against Lo Lost Box has a tough time. You probably need Raihan. Yeah, you could play a couple Raihan. That's fine. And I don't think that you need all these energy recyclers. I think the two rods should be enough. And I agree that boss's orders is good. That's cool, Blast Boys. I don't really care. If I got upset about everybody on Reddits, then I'd have a pretty miserable life, I think. What, they probably don't like my live takes or what's... All right, thanks, Blast Boys. I appreciate you. Thank you. What's up, Joe? Thanks for being here. I appreciate that. Got the two capture energy. Capture energy is really good. Oh, you don't you don't need that many psychic. You're right. You could probably just play two. But we do need a lot of energy recovery. Quartz is probably better. Yeah. Court's probably good. Raihan's an energy recovery card, too. And then we probably like a boss's orders. Like, do we need these choice belts? Probably not. I mean, it does give your... Your Zamazenta can really pack a punch. Yeah, I like that. Five metal. No! Not exactly sure that I need choice belts. I, the choice belts were there so you could Snorlax one hit KO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's so you don't need those anymore. They were there so that you could Snorlax knock out Stoutland. And we don't need that anymore. Yeah, Poke Gear, a couple Poke Gears, a boss. A couple gears would be good. What is Amazing Zashian's attack cost? I'm pretty sure we're close. It just needs a grass. I'm down to mess around with one grass energy for the content, you know?
Wait, where did I... Where's my card? Shouldn't I have a space for that? No, because I had to add in the Zashian. So now we're at plus one card again. I only need one court. That's true. So true. Right, I'm not exactly sure how we're taking six prizes, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, it's going to be broken. The Kyogre? You could play Kyogre. Listen, we're just going to get in the paint and hopefully... <clears throat> Amazing Rares Ashian should be fun at least. Like Poggers content, you know? They won't even know that we play... They won't even know that we play uh, Amazing Rare Zashi in, so. A Drapion's probably good in here, but we're chilling. We don't need it. We're up against Mew VMAX. We've got an awesome opening hand so far. Love it. Wants flower selecting. Holy moly. Why you make me choose between these cards? That's fine. No sweats. We'll take that. And capture energy. Go get Radiant Greninja. And draw a couple more cards. Quick ball away, Manaphy. And retreats, flower selecting, quartz and water energy. Take the quartz. And scoop up nets, Radiant Greninja, lay it back down, draw a couple more cards. We've got Tasui and Heavy Ball. Grab Comfy. And pass. Galarian Zigzagoon would be pretty cool in here, especially since we're playing the Amazing Zashi in now, so we'll probably end up Accommodating for that, I imagine, somewhere down the line. They just Marnie turn one with two Genesects. No cards played from hand. And we didn't hit a battle VIP pass turn one, so we weren't able to get a Ranguru out. Would have loved to have stacked the Colrus's experiment. That would have been great. And it looks like my opponent has nothing. There's actually basic energy in their Mew deck. Yeah. I don't have a lot going on. We top deck a Colrus, though, which is sick. Love that. Escape Rope, Mirage Gates... And that's fine. We're going to go in with Cramorant this turn. Get some damage on the board. 
Okay, it's flower selecting. Got another Colrus. Concealed cards. Okay. And let's go here. Switch cart. Spit innocently for 90 damage. And then, now well, we've got a healthy amount of energy and loss in the discard pile right now. We're getting mined again. Fine. Two energy in the loss zone. Three basic energy in the discard pile. A lot of Pokemon in this hand, which is not awesome. I feel like I could use another couple switch cards in here. But it is a it is a Mirage Gate build, so they can only afford so much space. They've got Cramomatic. Okay, tails on that. That's nice. And Star Alchemy. After a lost city, they shouldn't be able to attack this turn. So we should be safe from that. I'll get to just ping with Cramorant again. Thank you, Plus, for the prime sub in the four months. Appreciate it, Plus. Thanks. And... Okay, they retreat into Oracorio and pass. Fine with that. Yep. I'll just take this knockout. Gladly. Increases the amount of damage I do for the rest of the game since I've got that Oracorio out the way. Now I just have to knock out this Genesect and a Mew VMAX, and we're good. So, that's cool. They're chilling now, though. They got their double turbo energy, their Mew VMAX, their board is set up. They're good to go. But, yeah, I don't really have too much going on. Marnie again, though. That's fine. Our next four cards are going to be great. At least some more switch cards. It's good. Scoop up net's always great. And we've got an energy. So let's send up Comfy and see what we can do. Got another Cramorant. Let's flower selecting. We've got Raihan, so that's strong. Because I can just swing into this Mu V Max this turn, so. Yeah, that's cool. Get rid of the rod. That's okay. Definitely take the Raihan. I've got six cards in the Lost Zone. So we want to get one more card in the Lost Zone. So let's do this first. Flower selecting. That's fine. We'll grab this. And then concealed cards away the metal. So that now I can Raihan it. We've got some Mirage Gates, three metal, and one grass in the deck. Okay. No Psychic. Psychic are in my discard pile. So I could Raihan the Psychic... And then, yeah, to Sableye. That's cool. Let's do that. So a quick ball for this guy. Raihan the Psychic there. Attach the metal from hand. Yeah. And 
and we're going to go get this. We're going to mirage gate these over here, and then do that. Switch cart into Zamazenta. Might as well bench the Cramorant, and we will retaliate for 220 damage. I do still need to get uh, three more cards in the Law Zone, actually, so... No? Two more cards in the Law Zone. All right, it's not that bad. There's two more cards in the Law Zone. We could do that. To be able to uh, attack with Sableye. We're almost there. And Sableye, they don't have a Mew on their bench, so... Not a real easy way to save this thing. Zamazenta does hit like a truck, though, so I like that. I feel like we can work with this a little bit more, kind of tweak it, figure it out. Now I'm wishing that I had the Kramer Ants, because they just attack with this guy. Sure. Got a Mirage Gates, Flower Selecting. Oh boy. Ain't no energy left in my deck, so we'll take that. And let's bench this. Sheesh. All right. Mirage Gates. That there. Concealed cards. All right, we got Raihan. Okay, so we can retreat into this guy. Flower selecting. Get training courts. Probably just wants the training courts. Good. Yeah. Grab the training courts. Okay, and then we want to Raihan, an energy here, and get Escape Rope. And then we play Escape Rope, and I should have 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oops, it's fine. Zam went to the loss. Of, oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, why did my why did my math get so messed up? That's fine. Okay, we'll do that. Keep the training courts, and we'll lost mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten, eleven, twelve. Sure. I'll take out the Mew. And then all I have to do is knock out the Genesect for game. If I go Training Court, Sableye, I just need to find Sableye. Then we can just knock out the Genesect for game. So, that's cool. They've got a couple fusion strike systems, only 10 cards left in deck. So, yeah, Roseanne's back up, that's fine. So long as they're not putting down umbrellas, healing, doing anything like that, that's like Lost Box's worst enemy. You really don't want anybody to do any amount of healing. Yeah, none of, none of that. So long as there is no healing... We're chilling. Nice. Chorus experiment off the top. All I have to do is go find Sableye. Yes. Good thing I decided to keep the uh, 
training court because my last rod is prized, but it doesn't matter. We've got the psychic energy right here. And that is GG's. Lost mine, place all the damage onto the Genesect, and it's a wrap. Okay. So, let's think about that a little bit. That was, it was alright. We could do better. I know I'm not the smoothest Lost Box player either. I'm working on it. Lost Box is kind of hard to play. Let's... I like the idea of the Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon is just a good card regardless. Then I really just, you know, I want... I don't know if we, like, can power up to Zamazenta. Frankly, like, you've got Rod, it's fine. Just put that thing back into the deck, you know? There we go. Yeah, one more switch card. Cool, we'll do that. Might be a three-rod deck. I mean, it could be. Could be a three-rod deck. Thank you, Hookshot, for that prime sub. Let's just let's get in there with this one more time. See how we do. Well, I think you want to have. I like having the other Zashian because Radiant Eternatus just came out, so people are going to be trying, you know, funny V Maxes. It's true. We could cut a metal now since we're only running one Zamazenta. It's true. Certainly could. Thank goodness for capture energy. Looks like we're playing a Lost Box Mirror. I've got Comfy off the top of the deck and capture energy. So let's switch card into Comfy and flower selecting first. We find... Colrus and Rod, that's fine. We'll capture energy and go get another Comfy. And then Retreat and Flower Selecting. And we find Battle VIP Pass, which is fantastic. Battle VIP Pass for... Zamazenta and Comfy. And then Scoop Up Nets. And Flower Selecting. We'll take Greninja, probably. Yeah, got to be Greninja. And then Scoop Up Net again. Flower Selecting. Take the Psychic Energy. Do this. Concealed Cards. And then... I think we kind of just chill here. If they play Escape Rope, we can send up Zamazenta. I don't really want to burn any more Switch Cards. So that's fine. You know, they opened their Cramorant, so they may have to play an escape rope to get another dude into the active spot. We've got four cards in the loss zone ourselves. We don't want to... You know, we're already down a rod and a Sableye, so we don't want to be, like, too greedy. 
But we are threatening a few different routes. I mean, we can potentially retaliate next turn for a knockout if they if they take a KO. Or we can go Moonlight Shuriken and take out two Comfies if they don't get a Manaphy down. So that's all pretty good. I could have played Switch into Zamazenta, but that's the thing. It's like, okay, they have to go turn one escape rope, as I thought, so we can send up Zamazenta. So that way, if they do spit innocently, then Zamazenta kind of just eats that, which is really good. And if they escape rope again, then I send up Greninja, which is why I wanted to have both Zamazenta and Greninja out turn one going first in the Lost Box Mirror, since they can both survive a spit innocently. They're going to four cards in the Lost Zone. They are playing, it looks like the version of this deck that plays the Sky Seal Stone. That's why they'd have Zapdos in their deck. That's pretty cool. And they have to swing into Zamzenta for not enough. Let's go Culver's Experiments. Okay. We've got Training Court, Culrus, and Metal Energy. Seems good. Then we can potentially Moonlight Shuriken both their copies. They did not get a Manaphy out. And now we've got six cards in the Lost Zone. So I'm thinking that they're toast. What do you guys think? I think they're toasted. Let's go. So we'll escape rope and send up Comfy, flower selecting. We've got another Mirage Gate. I can let the grass energy go. That's fine. And now I've got seven cards in the Lost Zone. So we're basically chilling. Let's do this. And we get those guys. And then I'm going to Mirage Gate again. And we can go get Metal and Water. And we put the Metal onto Zamazenta and the Water onto Greninja. Switch carts into Greninja. Attach the Metal Energy to Zamazenta. And Moonlight Shuriken, both your Confies. And that feels pretty good. That's the turn two, two prizes. And that's one of the reasons this deck is so strong. Just being able to threaten the turn two Greninja, being able to spread damage like that. And then now being able to pop 220 damage with a beefy single prizer. Zamazenta is really, really good. Being able to knock out all Pokemon V in just one hit while actually not getting return KO'd by some things. When this Zamazenta has an energy attached to it, it takes 30 less damage from attacks. So, you know, things like Mew VMAX is going to have a really tough time using uh, Psychic Leap against Zamazenta for a knockout. It's pretty much never happening, right? It's a beefy dude. That kind of stuff ain't going to cut it. They can retreat into Comfy. They're still cooking. They've got three, four, five, six, now seven cards in the Lost Zone. So they are approaching Mirage Gate territory as well. And the Manaphy just a turn too late. But we're in a dominant position now. Let's go. Colrus's experiments. We'll grab Gate, Psychic Energy, and probably boss's orders. Then and training courts back. We don't want a moonlight shuriken. I've got Sableye. 
I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in the Lost Zone, so not ten. Can't attack with Sableye. We're just going to knock out the act. It was Zenta, frankly. So. We'll get the water energy back. Doesn't really matter. Do that. And then I'm going to just retaliate and kind of see what they cook up next turn. Thank you, DG151, for the sub in the 21 months. We've got gear. We'll just hold. I'm already down one ordinary rod, so I don't want to be too loose with my resources. Make sure that I have enough stuff to close out the game. If I flower selecting one more time, I will have the 10 cards I need in a Lost Zone. Could also boss up the Mana Fee, knock it out with Cramorant. Yes, there is an amazing Raikou. So that is, you know, something to think about. <laughs> and here he comes. So... It's looking like I'm going to get amazing shots. Unfortunately, did not have a quick ball or a capture energy, so I was not able to go get my own mana fee. And now they are taking advantage of that. Which is fine, though, because I should have the technology to be able to respond. They're going to knock out my Zamazenta, and then they have their pick of either Cramorant or Comfy. And they will take the Cramorant, which I think is the correct choice. Leave me without an attacker that can easily take care of Raikou. So we'll send up this guy. We have Culver's off the top. So. The Psychic Energy on the Sableye is really good. And I've got three prizes left to take. We can take this knockout on the Raikou. It's fine. Let's do this. Flower selecting. Escape rope and Zigzagoon. Switch cards are good. So we'll take that. And recovering energy is also really good. So we could do that. It's training courts for an energy back. I think this is my only sable eye. We're definitely going to want to rod. That's fine. Let's draw a couple more cards before I decide. Scoop of net and capture energy pretty much decides it for me because I can Raihan the Psychic Energy to the Sableye. And we can go get Rod. I can Rod a couple of guys back in. And I can go get myself the... Get myself the... Uh, we'll get those guys back into the deck. Okay, we'll do that. I need to go get the mana fee too. So let's go. Escape rope. And then I guess capture energy on the Greninja is probably fine. Get the mana fee, put it down. Not the most exciting play, but that's fine. You just want to have the Manaphy just in case they get another Raikou cooked up. We've got three metal and a water in the deck. Okay. And let's lost mine. 
lost mine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we'll do one on a mana fee. Sure. Go down to two prizes remaining. So all I need to do is attack with probably Cramorants and then attack with Zamazenta for game. I could attack with Zamazenta next turn. But that's it. I've got the boss's orders to make sure that I can probably finish off like a low HP Pokemon in case they put a Pokemon V in the active. Ideally, I find Cramorant this next turn and can just take a knockout with Cramorant. And then, yeah, they just have to spit. That's cool. So, yeah, ideally we find Cramorant. I've got Colbert's Experiments and a couple of Flower Selectings to do it. And the Quick Ball, so that's perfect. We'll go grab... Ah, I could have saved it. And they might play Roxanne or something, so... There's definitely an argument to saving it and then hoping that I draw into one of the other guys off the, the uh, flower selectings here. But I think with the Raihan we can... Uh... No, I think we actually ditched the Raihan. We just go Colrus. Colrus was a terrible idea, I'm realizing. Because now I have no energy in my deck. <laughs> Yeah, so that was actually extremely silly. But that's okay. I'm pretty sure we're still chilling. We're fine. Everything's cool. Okay, then we'll spit innocently. They've only got a mana fee. What are they going to do? All I need to do is training court for my water, and we're good to go. Yeah, it was uh, definitely not a... That was not a Colrus turn. Two little cards left in the deck. I had to... Hmm... Yeah, I wanted to get the Zamazenta out and use these Mirage Gates. What I wanted to do is build up Checkmate by having Zamazenta and Cramorant built up at the same time. That's what I wanted to have done. But I should not have played that Colrus. Should have just benched the Zamazenta. Or should have just played the Raihan, I think. Which could have accelerated an energy to the Greninja. And then I could have gone and gotten the Zamazenta. That, that was the play. Okay. That was the play. We should have kept the Raihan... And we could have done that. I don't think it's going to matter. What? They're going to attack with Drapion? They have to damage itself. That's fine. I don't think we need Saucer, but it is an interesting card. With Radiant Greninja, I mean, you do kind of power up Zamazenta pretty quick. You could just play a Zamaz Turbo Zamazenta deck with, uh, I mean, we could. Turbo Zamazenta? Kinda, kinda crazy with it. You just could play, I mean, I imagine you still wanna play Mirage Gates and Saucers. And the goal is to just attack with Zamazenta every single turn. So I think you still have to play Confies.
You could play capes and make your guys like really, really big. I mean like huge. Yeah, Zom doesn't really do enough damage. Thankfully, we get to keep our training... Ah, oh, the last card in deck was a water energy. We had it the whole time. That was easy. All right. Moonlight Shuriken. GG's. We'll take it. Yeah, it's, it's probably best just using... Zamazenta is like a, an auxiliary attacker in a lost box deck, I imagine. But it's fine. I would have loved to have a Roxanne in there. Eh, I was kind of missing that. Okay, I do like having a couple gears in the deck. That's felt great. Now we shouldn't uh, shouldn't have tanked our Elo like that, chat. Playing the Rotom deck. Now look, we got to spend all this time building it back up. Shouldn't have done that. We're up against single strike, Urshifu. V Max, it's been a while since I've played against that deck. That's pretty cool. Bosses orders and psychic energy off the top of the deck. Kinda have to take the psychic energy because my hand is not guaranteed good. See? So we can quick ball. And I can just go get a comfy. We can look at two more cards. That's fine. Switch cards. Hopefully find anything but that. That's fine. We'll ditch a rod. Keep the Sableye. Oh, man. That's fine. Yeah. That's cool. We only really need one Sableye. Okay. And then uh, we'll attach here and pass. You know, at the very least, I can Raihan next turn. That's fine. Not the best turn one. That's a lost box turn one if I've ever seen one. That's for sure. I could have, I guess, before using the Poke Gear, I could have used the Quick Ball, gotten Radiant Greninja, concealed cards for two more cards, and then used it. That would have given me a little bit... I'm not going to lie. I was just pretty confident I was going to hit the Colrus off of that. But I should have done... Should have done best practices. Should have just done that. I was like, I can save this quick ball. We're going to be fine. We weren't fine. But that's okay. Slow and steady wins the race. They just got a laser focus. Wow, you don't even give me the... Don't even give me the... Uh, capture energy now. Uh, man, bro. It's fine. Retreating to comfy. Flower selecting. Take a comfy. Scoop up net. Flower selecting. Gear. We've got five cards in the Lost Zone. That's cool. I think I've already retreated, though. Let's 
So let's capture energy for Oh yeah, we probably want to get this geezer out. Sure. Just in case. Can draw a couple extra cards. Do that. Colrus! Yo, what's up? I was looking for you. Yeah. That's fine. Scoop up net. This guy. Got another Culverus. Sure. Thank you, little Gucci, for the 34 months. And, uh... Yeah, that's cool. All right, I'm kind of chilling now, honestly. Let's just pass. Because the cool thing here is that they about to get this VMAX out. And when they get the VMAX out, that's when we bring out the amazing Zashian. <laughs> amazing Zashian was made for this. <laughs> was made for this moment. This is exactly why I got him in the deck, <laughs> is to knock out this this thing. Yeah, you thought you were cool with the VMAX in play. Just wait. Now I just got to find him, but we'll find him. Most definitely. We got Colris, we got Raihan. I was reading um, what there was uh, Ethan Heggy. Yeah, Ethan Heggy is living in Japan right now, like going to school there. Hegster. And he was saying that Lost Box is still really good post rotation. Because apparently Japan's format is like already rotated, I think. Oh, yeah, you're smoked. And you're weak to Psychic, brother. Okay, hopefully my grass energy is in the deck. Okay, let's call us first. Got the quick ball. We're chilling, dude. I don't have a switch card, but I can Rye Hunt for that. Oh, I can't because I am using. But I can retreat. That's cool. I don't want to escape rope anyway. Okay, let's quick ball. Let's see. We got the grass, the metal, and the psychic is in my hand. Beautiful. We're going to go get Zashian. And we're going to use. Mirage Gate to get these guys right there. And then we can see we got one basic psychic. Let's concealed cards. The other basic psychic. And we can ordinary rod. Do both. Sure. Didn't need to put that back in. Put those back into the deck. Mirage Gate. Psychic. Metal onto the active. Psychic there. And flower selecting. Oof. Take the Sable Eye. Retreat into Zashian, Bench Sableye. Bring the metal back. Mirage Gates. These. 
I'm gonna put the metal onto Zamazenta, the Psychic onto Sableye. Attach this metal for turn. That's pretty sick, honestly. A little amazing sword. Dang. 600 damage? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> That's fine, sure. 600 damage. Three prizes. Yeah. I'll do that. Thank you, Bernetto. I appreciate it. Yeah, amazing sword is pretty amazing when you're up against Psychic Week Pokemon VMAX, huh? That was sick. Tanya, you might want to just... You might want to just put a Drapion in here, though. Drapions are nice. They really help with all those Mew decks. I told you, we're going to go like five hours a day not playing against a single Lugia. Mew, though. We're going to see a bunch of those. We're up against Mew VMAX with our Lost Box deck. They're going first, and they've got a board with a couple of Mews and a whole bunch of Genesex. we got a pretty okay opening hand with two Battle VIP Pass. I say just okay because we don't have any energy in the hand, and we don't have any Switch cards, so... There's no guarantee that I'll get to flower selecting more than once. But with two battle VIP pass, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I like this. We can thin our deck, get our confies out, grab Radiant Greninja, and then flower selecting and hope to hit an energy or a switching card. The deck does have... A lot of energy and switch cards in it, so the odds of us finding one are relatively high. Here they go. They're still cooking. Cramomatic. Neato. They can go get whatever they want out of their deck and put it into their hands. I am definitely pleased that my opponent does not have Meloetta. Meloetta's. You know, I mean, you could just cram around Meloetta, so you really don't care as a Lost Box player. I'm used to, like, seeing Meloetta and being like, oh, no. But when you're playing Lost Box, you really do not care. Because you make quick work of Meloetta, and then, you know, it's kind of just a free couple of prizes. Top deck the escape rope. That's good stuff. Let's go. Battle VIP pass. We want... Radiant Greninja, where are you? Why art thou prized, Radiant Greninja? We do have Zacian, and we have also prized our Zigzagoon. So, that's not cool. We do have our grass energy, though. Okay. Fine. We'll go get Comfy and Cramorant. Then we will go get Comfy and Comfy. That's fine. Just get these dudes out. So I can start selecting some flowers. We've got gear. That's good. We want to escape rope. And then... Flower selecting one more time before we play the gear so I can dig two cards deeper in search of a Culrus's experiment. That would be... That'd be nice. We'll see who they promote. Hello. Hello. Who are you promoting, Mew? You just played that switch. Oh, they're going to promote. Hmm. Want to do this first? 
don't need any more basic Pokemon. So we'll take the Mirage Gate. And now we're looking for Colrus. There he is. Want a switch card? There he is. No boss? <sighs> Two cards in the Lost Zone. We definitely want to keep the Zashian. We definitely want to keep the Colrus. And we definitely want to keep the Scoop Up Net. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because I can just retreat this Comfy. It doesn't have to be Scoop Up Net. So we can keep the energy, because that keeps that in play, regardless. No boss is fine. Okay, so we just... Yeah, Scoop Up Net, like, the energy is actually better than, uh, better than Scoop Up Net here, because that way the energy kind of just stays in play. The scoop up net would have served the same function since I wasn't going to risk it on another flower selecting. And we'll spit innocently. We don't want to reveal the Zashi in yet, so we're not going to. Just going to keep that guy in our back pocket. For a special occasion when they least see it coming. We could bring out Zashi and use Amazing Sword. Or Zamazenta. Honestly, Zamazenta does 220 damage. So either of those will be great attackers for finishing off Mew V. I do really like the math with Cramorant and the new Zamazenta from Crown Zenith. Zamazenta does 220, Cramorant does 110, 110 plus 220. You've got that nice 330. And it looks like my opponent is no longer uh, at the keyboard. So that's cool. GG's. We'll take it. I'm telling you, though, man, a Drapion would be sick. We'd be cruising with the Drapion. Uh, Guru's good. I just keep loss owning it. <laughs> but it, it's good, though. Oh, yeah. This tag's broken. Looks like I'm playing a lost box mirror, and I'm going first. We got a strong opening. Battle VIP pass. We can use to go get Greninja and... Another Comfy. I've got Zamazenta in the hand. So we'll do that. And then start selecting flowers. Cramorant and an energy. Huh. Tough call. I think I want the energy. And can get by with just a single Cramorant. So let's concealed cards. Then... Switch carts into Comfy. Flower selecting. Take the Culrus. And then we can just retreat the Culrus into Zamazenta. And you know what? He's a pretty hefty dude. Turn one to have in the active. That's pretty good. We've pretty much like you know, anti-crammed our board turn one, which is exactly what we want to do in the Lost Box Mirror. You want to try and deny that turn one Cramorant knockout. So yeah, your opponent can go and swing into Zamzenta or Radiant Greninja, but they won't be able to take a knockout, which is really good going first. 
Now, it turns out my opponent is playing Gudra. So, Gudra. Gudra, Gudra, Gudra. This is not going to be great for us, but it also might be doable. We'll have to see. Zamazenta can do 220 damage. It's not bad. It's, it's not bad. And then Sableye can place damage counters. So we got that going for us. They go Temple of Sinnoh, pass. Okay. Well, let's get into it. They do not have a Mana Fee down, so we could go Moonlight Shuriken, knock out both their Confies, and start partying. That seems like the play, if I can get it going. So let's start off with Culrus's experiments. Scoop up net, capture energy, boss. That seems fine. Okay. A little escape rope. And now we have four cards in the Lost Zone. We need to get three more. So we're sending up Comfy. The Temple of Sinnoh is going to make it so my capture energy doesn't work. But that's okay. Just need to flower selecting a few times. I could also swing in with concealed cards. Or not concealed cards. With uh, Ooh, if I can find Cramorant, other blue guy. Spit innocently. Here we go. It's comfy time. Take that. Scoop up nets. Flower selecting. We want the water. Water. Sandy. All right, so we got six now. Easy. And then... Yeah, we escape rope. Get the seventh. And then we moonlight shuriken both their confies. Sandy, I need water. Flower selecting. We got scoop up nets and escape rope. Let's take escape rope. Got seven in the lost zone now, so we're good to use Mirage Gates. And they scoop it up. That's right, GG's Gudra. See ya, bud. Wouldn't want to be a. Yeah, sorry. Can't handle the heat. That's right. Everybody hates it when I go turn two Moonlight Shuriken, both their comfies. Why don't they like it when I do that? What the heck, man? Why don't you stick around when I knock out both your comfies? I don't know if Rotom would beat the Gudra deck because Gudra can um, attack with Cramorant still, and Cramorant makes the Rotom deck really sad. What is my opponent playing? They've got a Drapion in the active, Water Energy. Looks like I'm up against Vicavolt V. They're going first and open Drapion. Vicavolt should be a pretty tough matchup for us since Item Lock is uh, pretty good against what I'm trying to do here. It's just, just pretty good, yeah. Gotta say. 
I got a lot of items in my deck. You feel me? So, let's uh, see what we can do. Zamazenta, kind of a thick dude. It does retaliate for 220 damage, which is nice. I like that. Let's use flower selecting and... We're going to get comfy... I'm not using flower selecting. Let's use battle VIP pass and go get comfy and comfy. And then flower selecting. Water. Sandy. Escape rope. Escape. Zapdos. Flower selecting. Was Greninja not in my deck or? Why didn't I get Greninja? Was he not there? Didn't feel like showing up? Dang it. This hand stinks. It must not have been there. Because I would have I would have got him. Like 100%, right? This hand is terrible. Hmm. What the heck, man? Three cards in a loss zone, that's a yeesh. I think I just lose. That's not the opening hand you want. Yeah, no. I think I've seen enough. See ya. Don't don't need to play that one out. All right, what if we play a Vicavolt deck, but it plays Radiant Eternatus to go get uh No, that's terrible. It only works going first. Go in second, you just want to get the turn one item lock. All right, Yoshi, what you got? Playing against Yoshi's Arceus deck. We're going first and have a strong opening hand. Love it. We can use Battle VIP Pass, Go Get Comfy, and a Cramorant. We've got Radiant Greninja in hand. Start using Flower Selecting, Quick Ball, Raihan. Yeah. Raihan's great. Honestly. We'll Colris, then we'll want a Raihan probably. So well, let's just get that. We can conceal cards, get rid of the water energy, and escape rope. Flower selecting again to scoop up nets. That's fine. Two cards in the law zone. We'll just save it. We can attach. Um, nah, we're chilling. Pass. And then we'll see what kind of deck this is that Yoshi's playing. Is it Arceus Duralodon VMAX? No, there's fire energy in here. Fire energy. It's Arceus Charizard. Cool. So we'll probably see Charizard V Star, I imagine. Charizard V-Star is weak to water, so maybe some Radiant Greninja dreams. Speaking of Radiant Greninja, boy, I'm happy I have that guy right now because I just got Marnied into a four-card hand with three energy in it. So we definitely are thankful to be able to play out of that. Oh, Delphox? Excuse me. Magical fire, huh? 
Looks like somebody needs to go find their Kramer ants. Not the Kramer ants, their Manaphy. And Trinity Charge. Turn one, Trinity Charge, Del Fox. Holy moly. Okay. Let's see if we can find Manaphy. Concealed cards first. We've got capture energy. That's cool. Scoop up net. I mean, we could at least swing. Capture energy gets me the mana fee. All right, cool. Flower selecting. We've got Culrus. Great. And let's scoop up nets. Flower selecting. Go get the mana fee. Yeah. Take the training court, I think. Ah, that's if I take the training court it's probably getting bumped. Who cares? We'll do that. Let's capture energy for my mana fees priced. Ooh, why is my mana fee priced? Ooh, where are you, mana fee, and why are you priced? That's not good. That's bad. That's real bad. That's not what we wanted. No. Yes. No. All right, we're going to get this guy. Yep. And then we'll Colrus. Do I need? I mean, Zashian's not good in this matchup. So. Unless I play the VMAX, in which case, I'm a dummy. That's fine. So we're treating to Cramorant, and we're just saying, yeah. You're just going to take two prizes this next turn. That's okay. I got a game plan. The game plan just involves me not getting Marn. I should have benched this. Just said YOLO, whatever. Bench it. Fine. We just need to not get Marnied. Yeah, I should have put down the... I realized it as soon as... as soon. I realized it. It's fine. We got six cards in the Lost Zone. All I need to do... Is just keep this Colrus, Colrus, Mirage Gate. Boom. Done. That's it. Easy. Easy money. I do need to get... Let's see. Yeah, we just do 220 with Retaliate. That's fine. Do I got a Ranguru? A Ranguru actually is going to be useful, so I need to go get that. I haven't used a Ranguru once yet. I'm about to get Marnied. You've got to be kidding me. There are so many Pokemon V on that side of the board. I have to be able to respond to this. The only plus is that I am getting like three metal back into the deck, so that's nice. Okay, we got Mirage Gates. Oh, this is so bad. I should have benched the other Confi. I'm such a loser for that. Why am I playing like a buffoon? All right. It's fine. Can't believe I prized my Manaphy too. That's fine. Oh, this is pitiful. Absolutely pitiful. Should have just benched this guy. That's my fault. Do they have a way to magical fire back to back turns? Like they might not. Raihan, you say? I. It's gamer time, fellas. Mirage Gates. Okay. Um. 
Or do we want to go in with Greninja, you know? Greninja's kind of a spicy play. And we Raihan to the Greninja. And we hit Delphox and Arceus. And we soften them both up for the uh, Sableye later. Nah, we got to take some prize cards. <laughs> 100%. Do we, though? Not really. Because I could attach that. So there, we got a water in the discard pile. I could ride over scoop them. Yeah, we do have to take prize cards for sure. Let's take prize cards. Prize cards are good. Let's take prize cards. Okay, we're going to ride on the grass to the Zamzenta. And off of that, I am going to go get myself a Colris. Okay, that seems good. And we retreat, and we do the thing, retaliates for 220 damage. They probably play Sharon's carry, yeah, we're just gonna whop him with the Zamazenta, that seems good. There's a Rangaroo, you never, ever, ever show up. It's cool, man, you're just like, you're never around. I tried calling, you're never there. Never there. Doom, doom. So I need to Mirage Gates attack with Radiant Greninja next turn. I could do that. We'll swing into Charizard. I'm getting Marnied again. What's new? That's cool. It's fine. See ya. Don't need those cards. Didn't want them anyway. Haha, -ha, this hand's better. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so well, I got rid of my training court. We don't have training courts. We also don't have that rod. The rod is gone. I've got a rod left in my deck. That's cool. Really just barely getting by over here. Really wish I hadn't apprised that Manaphy. But it's okay. It's fine. Man, if he just feel a rangaroo, lazy monkey, never wants to show up. A rangaroo, never around. Had him. Bottom of the deck. So now they're using Starbirth. They can go get whatever two cards they want out of their deck and put it into their hand. We've got. Save line, call risk, scoop up net, switch. I mean, that's about as good as it gets for us. And here's Charizard VMAX. I knew I shouldn't have got rid of you. I knew it. I knew we should have kept you around, man. It's cool, though. It really is not a lot of work left that I have to do. They've got three prizes remaining to my four. Okay, let's call versus experiment. Mm hmm. Sheesh. Um. This thing. Yeah. That's fine. I don't actually think that I. That's fine. Concealed cards. We find Mirage Gates, which is good. It's flower selecting. Find another Mirage Gates. Quick ball, but no attacker, really, because I got rid of that Zashi, and I shouldn't have done that. Zamazenta's in the discard pile. 
Take the Mirage Gate. I can attack with the Radiant Greninja. That's actually cracked. If there's a water in my deck, which is, you know, we don't know. All right. There is not. So we cannot. I should have benched a Sableye first. That was like total goon behavior. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, we'll accelerate just the metal to the Greninja. Yeah, Lost Box is hard, man. I know, right? I mean, I feel like if I hit with Cramorant, I'm like kind of set myself up to lose. Got another Colris. Yeah, I'm thinking it's it's cram angle. That's what it has to be. It's like I can technically maybe do it, but Probably not. Could have escaped. All right, if I escape rope. Yeah, hitting into any of these other guys is probably better off escape rope. It's true. I do think my attackers are probably too thin right now. Like, I... Maybe you should have just kept that guy alive in the deck. 120 on that guy. That actually gives me a wing con. This Radiant Heatran going to 120. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. I was a little sussed out until... See, all right, there is a Sharon's Care. Cool. I was a little bit sussed out at this thing having 140 hit points left. But now that it has 120... I have a route because I can knock out Charizard, knock out Heatran for game. And I can just Sableye the Heatran. So all I have to do is deal with the Charizard. And we're kind of okay. They're actually just going to go up with the Heatran now, which actually is like cool because then I could potentially Radiant Greninja. Like, actually, it just will right now Radiant Greninja, I think. So. We do this, and then I gotta set up this for game. And go Raihan, the water, to the Greninja, and we wanna get probably Rod and do both. Rod, do both. We want to put back in Zam and Cram. And then we want to put back in Metal. I think there is like a Metal Energy weight in my deck. We've got one, two, three, four, and then there's one in the deck. So we'll say that. Those all go back in. We attach this here, and we moonlight shuriken there, and then get rid of those. And we set the Charizard to 130 hit points left. So there's Manaphy. I guess. We should have, yeah, I needed to, huh. Yeah, because I don't have the boss's orders, so if they gust and knock out my Sableye, I'm kind of like, I shouldn't have even put the Zamazenta back into the deck. Yeah, no, because the win condition is to, like the odds of me hitting boss Charizard are like zero. 
but they don't have boss. So that gives me an opportunity to just win. All I have to do, all I have to do is find Zigzagoon. Yeah, this was a messy, a messy game, but I think we got there. So we've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, eleven cards in the lost zone. Yeah, they're probably not attacking this turn, actually. So then we're just fine. I think that's why I was like building up the that okay 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 that's why I was building up for the Zamazenta because then I have an opportunity to knock out the Charizard with Zamazenta too like even if they hyper potion nah if they hyper potion we're short so well you know it was a thought but all I need is Zigzagoon now to win with Sableye so we're chilling Sean the Buffalon you got a judging question Oh, yeah, that's a good question. I'd be interested to see. What takes precedent, Klefki or Empoleon? I don't know. It's not GG's yet. What's well, Mirage Gate? These energies? Gear. Nice, we got the boss. Don't think it matters, but... I'm pretty sure Zigzagoon is in the deck, right? I'm pretty sure, brother. Hopefully. <laughs> if not, I'm going to be feeling kind of silly about this. There we go. That's GG's. Oh, whoever goes first gets the ability. That makes sense in that situation. If it's Empoleon and Klefki, whoever goes first has their ability activated first. That makes sense. Concealed cards. Bada boom, bada bing. 10 damage. And we lost mine for game. GG's, Yoshi. GG's close. You almost got me with the Del Fox. But we were able to rebound, so thank goodness for that. Are there any other attackers we want in this deck? It's pretty sick with it, honestly. We're doing pretty good. We just got the one Zamazenta and the one Zashian. And the Greninja. Probably a second Zamazenta. I I agree with that. The one was feeling real thin. And we were relying on those ordinary rods way too much. So then what's the cut? I like the gear. I'm way too gear I'm too gear pilled. You can cut a metal it's switch cart could go back to two that's fine all right sure i will not play three vip pass you sinners <laughs> you that's a repent repent both of you Yeah, boss and e-switch. Dang, Yoshi, that's spicy. Three VIP in Lost Box? You need to see that card turn one every game. Cut the nets to prep for rotation. What's next, three comfy? Two VIP. <laughs> But look at our win percentage now. Now that we're playing Lost Box, you win like every game you play. That's why everybody's playing Lost Box. Because there's no time. It's no 50-minute best of three. I have all the time in the world. We're up against what appears to be a Mewtwo V-Star Shadow Rider Calyrex V-Max deck. 
and we got coffee. No, no. I want to do the thing with Zashi and no. It's fine. All right, we're still gonna win, even with even without Zashi and I've still got this. It's fine. No, no, no. We gotta. We're just gonna play the do the thing. All right. I've got double scoop up net in my hand, man. I ain't. We're winning without the Zashi in anyway. It's fine. Yeah, see ya, bird. I'm uh keep selecting, okay? I'm just out here selecting some flowers. Dang, okay. The scoop up net or the gotta go for the scoop up net. I mean, I'm going for I'm going for turn one. Mirage Gate, baby. All right, now you're really playing some games now. That's fine. That's fine. You don't need, I don't need him either. We're chilling. We're chilling. There's the Colrus. Yeah, now we Colrus. Quick ball. Switch carts. Boss's orders. But I mean, that's like how many metal energy? Two metal in the law zone now? Yeah, you just take these. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Okay. And then... Concealed cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yo, I got turn one seven cards in the law zone, bro. What the heck? <laughs> All right, 90 plus, 90 plus 220 ain't it, though, is it? It's not a matter of do I need the medal this turn. It's do I need the medal to win the game. Yes. Yes, I do. I can't loss zone too many medals or I won't be able to attack eventually. Um, I could go scoop up net. And then I got rope. I mean, I could just look for a... I could turn one Moonlight Shuriken about these guys. Nah, we're just going to get the cram. Yeah, yeah. But turn one Moonlight Shuriken? Like, bro. <laughs> you understand? The implications? I think I like just swinging into this Mewtwo. pretty good all right we're chilling turn one we got six cards in the law zone all right some of them we didn't want to put there but that's part of playing this deck turn one six cards in the law zone big z here on the bench ready to get crack a lacking with a nice retaliate next turn for 220 damage feels good. And they got a damaged Mewtwo. If they want to take a knockout of my Kramer Ranch, then I just go Raihan, knock out to Zamazenta. Easy money. All four scoop up net are in the in the bin now, though, so we do have to be conscious of that. And it looks to me like. They are trying out a spicy Shadow Rider Calrex V Max Radiant Eternatus deck. That's cool. That's exactly that's exactly what we like to see. Big Pokemon V Max, they give up a lot of prizes. And this Mewtwo is just going down. So 
less concealed cards. And then I've got Capture Energy, which is great. Cool. And we'll go get Oranguru. Wow, I get to use Oranguru? This is crazy. Training Courts. The Metal Back. Primate Wisdom. The Raihan. And spit innocently to knock out the Mewtwo V. We'll take our two prize cards, Colrus and a Battle VIP Pass. We're ready to rock and roll. Zamazenta going to be cranking out a big retaliate next turn. I don't care how many Shadow Rider Calrex V Max you have in play, it do not matter. In fact, the more the merrier is what I say. Underworld Door, they're going to accelerate a bunch of energy into play. That's fine. I know this deck definitely wants to get the turn one Radiant Eternatus. That'd be a lot better. But they are going to be able to swing with Max Geist. Sure. I do have three fellas. Oh, yeah, there is a Articuno. They could spread damage. 120 wherever they want. But they can't knock out Zamazenta. It's got the Metal Shield. So it takes 30 less damage from attacks. They could knock out you know, one of my Confis or Ranguru, but that doesn't really matter. There's not anything here that I'm terribly afraid to lose other than the Zamazenta. The Zamazenta is the guy I want to keep around, but you monster! Alright, that's fine. I got a backup Zamazenta right here, bud. Send up Comfy. And there's Raihan. So... Let's... Concealed cards. We just really want to find one of our rods. So if I can find one of our rods, that'd be great. Flower selecting. Don't find one of our rods. Sad. So probably just attack with Cramorant's Which is fine. I could also... And I could swing with Radiant Greninja. That's okay. Yeah, let's call Riss. I do play Zashian, but unfortunately we had to loss own it on the first play of the game. Get these guys. And... Let's Mirage Gate. Water. Psychic. Take a look. There's just one rod in the deck. That's fine. Yes, water and grass, actually. Those are going to go into the Greninja. And then Training Court for the water. Do that. And... This is all fine. They've got five prizes remaining, so I mean, we're like huge chilling, really. Escape rope. All I need to do is take out the Articuno and this Shadow Rider Calrex V Max, and we win. So that's cool. That's cool. I got plenty of time. Honestly, against Pokemon V Max, you have so much time to be able to cook up a win condition. All the time in the world. So we will Primate Wisdom the Raihan on top of the deck. 
That card's broken, man. It always does that. And then Moonlight Shuriken, we want to hit this guy and that guy. Cool. And we'll discard these. And we'll see what my opponent does. I don't really care who they knock out. They could knock out anybody at this point. It do, it do not matter. Nothing really matters. Judge. That's spicy. So I'm I'm feeling kind of judged out here. I'm going to get set to four cards. And those four cards are pretty mid. If they knock out Radiant Greninja, yeah, I lose that draw out. We do need to find... I guess, I mean, I can lost mine. They're going to Psy Laser. Who are you knocking out? That guy? I'm pretty sure I got, like... Yeah, we can just... Oh, that's broken. For sure. Now we just hit this thing again. Knock out the Articuno, hit this thing again. It's broken. Okay. Let's concealed cards first. Yeah. All right, concealed cards. Yo! With the spicy rod. Love that. Wait, can I? I need to make sure I can ride hunt. Yeah, I got plenty of energy in the discard pile. Do both. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to want both those gamers back into the deck and then shuffle in the. No, you want a psychic. And then I'm about to ride hunt the water. I'm about to ride on the water, and then I'm going to want to bring back the grass. So we'll put those two back into the deck. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to ride on the Watt, and we're going to go get Sir Sableye. That seems fine. Bench it. Training courts. Do that. Do that. Save the Mirage Gates. You're going to have... I'm doing 90 to you. You'll have some amount of hit points left. I don't know. We're going to want probably Mirage Gate on top of the deck. That seems good. And then let's Moonlight Shuriken. Pop that guy again. Now, discard those. And we go down to just three prize cards remaining. This thing's got 140 hit points. Dang, so I'm just short with Shable Eyes. Fine, though. It's fine because... And I'm just 10 short with Zigzagoon. I'm out of nets, yeah. The net population has been depleted to zero. I used all four nets on like the first turn of the game. It was sick. <laughs> yeah, so that is not an option. But it's fine. If I find a switch card, I have win just knocking it out with Zamazenta. Because I've got Mirage Gate on top of the deck. And if they try to knock out somebody that's not Greninja, which they might do with this Articuno this turn, then I've just got win in hand. Check this out. They're going to knock out like Sableye. Yep, yeah, see? All right, and now we just win. They didn't know it, but they played right into my plan, dude. You had no idea. And then, let's see. I've got the metal in my deck, right? Yeah, I got the middle of my deck. All right. And then I drop the secret recipe. Training court. 
and we Zamazenta, boss's orders, retaliates for 220 damage. And that's GG's. GG's, GG's. That was fun. Smacking things with Zamazenta is pretty fun. I'm enjoying myself doing that. You know, unfortunately, you got to play the Lost Box engine if you want to play a single prize deck. But, you know, that's fine. Dang it, man. What's, what's, up, what's up with you, man? You're in the wrong spot, buddy. Thank you, Turbo Darkness, for the Prime sub. Whoa, we get to play against our first Lugia. Isn't that fun? We're up against Lugia V-Star with our Zamazenta Lost Box deck. Zigzagoon decided that he wanted to be the opener of this game. So everybody say hi to Zigzagoon. Hello. You're not exactly where you belong, bud. Would have preferred it if you were just in the deck for later, but that's fine. Lugia decks playing their tool jammers these days so that they can stop those sky seal stones. It's pretty cute like that. We've got battle VIP pass. Want to see what our prize situation looks like? Seems fine to me. Radiant Greninja and Comfy, and then we will battle VIP pass again and go get another Comfy, and we want to go get probably just another Comfy. Yeah, actually, just maybe a Manaphy. Nah, we have prize Manaphy anyway, so who cares? Okay, this is what we're doing. And then we're going to Conceal Cards. And we don't really find anything, so... We will retreat Zigzagoon and Flower Selecting. And now we really don't find anything. Shouldn't need that Grass Energy in this matchup. And we're going to sit here and do nothing. All right, there we go. That's not great. If my opponent were to go turn two Stoutland, knock out my Comfy, I would be hard-pressed to respond. I've only got one card in the Lost Zone. That's no bueno. You really don't like to open Galarian Zigzagoon. It's not optimal. But... That's fine. Maybe my opponent doesn't have the turn two attack. They didn't get any... Oh, they got it. They got it all right. Luminian for Professor Burnett. And they can just go discard the two Archeops right away. So, yikes. That's fine. They do have a Luminian in play. But the thing is, they can just Aqua return. So that's kind of annoying. Huh. Not ideal. Really not the... Not the start you want. And they got rid of a Marnie, so they probably have another supporter in their hand. I have to imagine. I'm just starting off on the back foot in this matchup, which is just really not great. Okay, I'll send up Comfy, and hopefully we can get it cooking. Yeah, conceal cards. We got capture energy now. I really don't want to send up something that can get easily knocked out. Gear and scoop up net, my goodness. Um, And you kind of have to say, like, I need this card or else I'm not doing anything this turn. That's a guarantee. So... Find the Colrus. Colrus. Not fantastic. Yeah, pretty bad, actually. Ooh. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm attacking. 
but I don't want to just let them aqua return. That's fine. That's sure. Yeah. We've got four in the law zone. We're not exactly uh, rocking and rolling, okay? Can escape rope. I imagine they send up Luminian. It's not good. Scoop up Nat. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not great. Capture energy. Yeah, no, I think... Hmm. I'm probably just losing this game. Okay, pass. That's fine. I just don't want them to aqua return. That's it. I don't want them to aqua return something good. I could, what, 90 damage to both the Archeops, then you Sableye them? Yeah, I mean, it's possible. Looks like they are going for aqua return, so they might have a boss this turn, which is like, sure, okay, that's fine. Nope, they're just gonna take that turn. So that's, like, that's what I was hoping they, they would do. So, that's okay. They basically gave me a turn back. Which is kind of nuts. So let's call worse. We got this, this, and this. And then... Wow. It's a lot of energy in the, uh, the old law zone, you know? That's fine. Let's switch carts into Greninja and Mirage Gates. Um, those. Metal to Zamazenta, water to Greninja, water here, Sableye down. There's a Psychic left in the deck. Metal in the discard pile. Let's ordinary rod. Just the two energy back in. And sure. Metal here, psychic there. Just do that. That's okay. And Moonlight Shuriken, we're going to hit both these guys. Okay. Discard those. Then we've got five, seven. So if we ramp to ten, I could take out both their Archeops. And if we can do that, then we've got a pretty clear route to win because they won't have any Archeops. Which would be awesome. So, let's see. They didn't play a supporter last turn. Sheesh. And they're not playing on this one, this turn either. Like, all right, sure. You're just gonna hand it over. Like, that's just that's it. Okay, let's call us. Just looking looking for a switch card. We got one. Okay, and then we're pretty much good to go. 
Flower selecting. Take the Raihan. Scoop up nets. And we got 10. Energy here. Cramorant down. And we'll lost mine. That should just be game. Three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure, I never had anybody just kind of let me do that before, but okay. I ain't complaining. That's fine. Ah, the Stoutland. Dang it. Stoutland. Too little, too late, bud. Yeah, your Stalin's got to go. Your Stalin's got to go, friend. Ah! <laughs> That's what we call a swing and a miss. <laughs> That's fine. That's why you always... Check your deck first. That's fine. That's why I got a backup Mirage Gate right here. And there's the rod. See, we're cool. Yeah, now we're now we're in business. Radiant Charizard. Sure, I did waste my boss, so that's on me. I don't love that I wasted my boss's orders. Probably shouldn't have done that. But it's okay. So long as I swing with Zamazenta, I can finish the game with Sableye. So that's fine. Yeah, we got we got an attack with Sable uh, with Zamazenta guaranteed. All I have to do is Raihan Metal Energy to the Zam to Zamalam, and then that's fine. Escape rope could be nice. Training courts. Get the metal energy. Attach that there. And then ordinary rod. Do both. Put back in sable eye. And metal energy. Or uh, just the uh, psychic energy. Yeah, that's fine. Those guys back in. Quick ball away this. Go get the save line. Bench it. And retaliate. And then all we need to do for win is just put the psychic energy onto the save line and finish off the Lugia. Unless they share. Don't you. What if they Sharon's care? <laughs> they don't have any Archeops in play, so they can't attack with Charizard back to back. All right, what if they like Sharon's care? All right, what if they Sharon's care into Charizard and then the following turn, they Bird Keeper to attack with Charizard again, back to back Charizard attacks, GG's. All right, they didn't, they just played Marnie. We're fine. See? Totally a non-issue. Everything is cool. And then we're just going to be able to lost mine for game. They retreat. They attack with Charizard. But it is too little too late, Lugia. That heavily damaged Lugia over there is looking like a whole snack on the bench. And that is GG's. All my damage counters on Lugia. And you're out of here. Lost box. Taking the dub. That could have gotten sketchy. I suppose. Remember the Rotom V-Star deck that we were playing earlier? We're having a much better time with this. I 
I'd rather not remember it as well. I right, we're going first. Yes, I will. This hand stinks. Why is it so bad? Okay. Start with Manaphy, sure. We're going first against a deck that plays Mill Tank. We've got Battle VIP Pass. We can go get Comfy and Radiant Greninja. Seems fine. Conceal some cards. Draw a couple and retreats into comfy flower selecting i think we're on team zigzagoon and we'll just pass i don't really know what kind of mill tank deck we're up against so we'll see if it's mewtwo v union control then I wish I had Drapion in here. You know, we should just put Drapion back in the deck. Drapion is a nice fella. Handsome. There's a nice new clay artwork for it in Crown Zenith. Love to see that. With Mirage Gate, we can just juice that Trapion up and knock out the Mewtwo V Union. Feels really good. It's just one card slot. I'm not playing Sky Seal Stone, man. Not unless we got at least two Pokemon V, maybe three. All right, my opponent's not even there. GG's. Wasting my time, brother. Wasting my time. Don't tell me that I'm not going to be able to find a... Come on, man. Just a little cramorant. That's all we need. Just let me finish it. Man. Just a quick ball or, you know, something. There we go. We'll take it. And that's GG's, brother. Fun, fun, fun. broken deck I still don't feel like I have enough good games to make a video though like I'm winning I mean we've won I think 9 out of our last 10 games but they're not good ones it's like I just there's been a couple games where it's like I haven't played very well so I... <laughs> so that's on me maybe you know a couple We're up against Lugia. <clears throat> We're up against Lugia V Star with our Zamazenta Lost Box deck. And we're going second, unfortunately. No Colris in our hands. No Comfy. It's not looking fantastic over here, but we'll see how it buffs out. Even just a switch card could really help this hand out. As it is right now, we're either using Quick Ball for Comfy or Radiant Greninja. And going from there. Battle VIP Pass really helps. Yeah, that's great. So I think... Ugh, it's tough because... I could retreat into Comfy 
Or I could just see two cards with Greninja. We probably just go see two cards with Greninja. Which makes the most sense. Yeah. And then we can quick ball away the Zigzagoon and get us another Confi. We're just trying to thin the deck as much as we can so that when we use this Concealed Cards, we have the highest chance possible of finding something decent. And we do get a Switch Card, so that's kind of the bare minimum. Well, Flower Selecting, we find a Grass and an Ordinary Rod. The Grass will allow me to retreat into Comfy and continue selecting flowers so we're going to do that and we find a rangaroo but there's not anything that i want to put on top of my deck so i think we just keep the metal energy because then at least next turn i can you know kind of go in with uh concealed cards and flower selecting to try and at least get something going, but that's a pretty terrible turn one. Usually in Lost Box, if you don't start with Comfy, I mean, it can just be kind of a clunker like this. If you don't get the turn one, Colris, you don't start Comfy. Yeah, that's just how it goes. But. We'll see what happens this turn. They've got Luminium, Luminous Sign for Research. Evolution Incense can get them Archaeops, and they'll put it into the discard pile with that Professor's Research. And then they pretty much... Oh, I was hoping that that wasn't going to be Amazing Raikou, so looks like it's not. That's good. They've got one Archaeops in the discard pile. All they need is a second one, and they can Summoning Star for two, put them on the bench, and they don't. They don't find the second one, so they decide to pass, and I'm thrilled with that. Sounds good to me. Let's Concealed Cards. Flower Selecting. Hey, what's up with the... Uh... Lack of Colrus's experiments. Could we just find one of those? That'd be great. Yeah, man. Oh, my gosh. What a disgusting game. All right. <laughs> just really just having the worst time out here with Lost Box. Okay. Oh, man. We play Poke Gear. That's fine, I guess. Let's keep. Did I retreat already? <laughs> yeah, my comfy retreated. Yep. All right. Sure enough, I did. Okay. So, scoop of Neditus. Five cards in the loss zone. Just have to put some damage on the board. That's fine. I'll attach an energy to Greninja. Bench that. Spit innocently for 110. And then kind of see where we're going. Definitely an ugly ugly start to this game i mean it does not feel pretty they've got the aurora energy and second archaeops in the discard pile so now they're going to use summoning star and archaeops ready to go can use its primal turbo ability to accelerate special energy anywhere on the board and they've got marnie and i honestly cannot complain because this hand is uh, the pits. I do not care for it. There had to be like mad Colruses like right there. There had to be. I I had seen so many cards and hadn't seen one of these things that 
Looks like they're gonna do the old aqua return. That's fine. So I think we just go Moonlight Shuriken their Archeops. Kind of seems fine. Five cards in the Lost Zone. I mean, I could Raihan and guarantee it. I could go for both Archeops if we do that. My Zigzagoon's in the discard pile. That's like three prizes there. I mean, it's not terrible. All right, let's do it. You know what? I'm going to mess around. We're going to do it. Let's... And I can Raihan for whatever I want. So that's cool. No, I can't because I need to get the water energy so we can seal cards. And then... We Raihan... The grass to the Greninja, and we go get the water. Attach the water bench, the Sableye. A little bit risky. I mean, I'm saying, yeah, I mean, I still got to get a lot of cards. In. It's fine. It's fine. We're chilling. We're cool. We're cool. Stay the course. We I. Okay, we're going to do that. Thank you, Lil' Will, for the sub in the 50 months. Take 50 months? What the heck? You know, thank you, Lil' Will. Hopefully you're doing well. Having a great day. And we'll smack these guys. Set them up for the Sableye. But I still have to get a bunch of cards into the Lost Zone. Like five more into the Lost Zone. Which is tough. And Bird Keeper Matthew with the 12 months, one year. Thank you, Bird Keeper Matthew. There's Stoutland. So Stoutland's going to start getting juiced. And I don't like to see that personally because Stoutland's double dip fangs probably going to double dip on them prize cards and take two on one of my comfy or something. I'm not really into that. New. However, I can respond with Zamazenta, so we can go two for two. And we're hoping that that's the situation. I got Thumping Snore, so I'll take the knockout on the Greninja. Snorlax goes to sleep. We'll send up Comfy and see what's up. Snorlax still sleeping. Let's quick ball away the poke gear. Get Cramorant. Uh, get Comfy, if I'm being honest. And then let's call versus experiments. We got this, this, and this. Holy moly, can I afford to ditch my other rod? Definitely not. No. So, probably do that. But I really don't even want to play that escape rope. Oh, there's no Spide Ops giveaway. That's old, guys. No, 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 no. There's no... That was from the other day. You guys missed it. Dang it. What the heck? There's no giveaway. Got to keep the ordinary ride. Okay, we'll do that. Flower selecting. Take the switch cart. Scoop up net. Flower selecting. Take the sable eye. Okay. I can mirage gate now.
switch cart. Got another Mirage Gate. We got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten? Holy moly, we did it? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't realize I did it. Okay. So now I get to knock out both Archeops. Well, that's great. Okay, so we're going to bench this guy. Ordinary Rod. Do both, sure. Greninja can go back in. Oh, we want Zigzagoon back in. I actually don't think we need Greninja because I'm going to be running out of energy. So we'll put Cramorant and Zigzagoon back in. And then we're going to put back in. Won't need the water energies. We want that and we want that. Okay. Put those back in. Then we'll attach an energy here. And Mirage Gates. Holy smokes! I'm so bodied. <laughs> Alright, well, I ain't ever tacking with that Zamazenta, bro. Hey, we retreat. I hope dude stays asleep forever. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I right, might need one of those energy recyclers in here. That's a pretty cool card. Ah, they definitely Luminion for Bird Keeper and then Stoutland, my Sableye. Ah, I don't have enough energy in my deck to be able to deal with it. Man, uh, we're so close, and they don't have any guys left. You know what I mean? Like they don't have any, no Archeops left. But they've got this Stoutland. I just need to deal with the Stoutland, and I'm home free. But I'm out of energy. I got one metal in the deck. Yeah, that's brutal. Okay. Yeah, not great. Oh, I've got one Psychic in the deck, not a Metal in the deck. I've got one Psychic. If I had a Metal, then... Maybe, but no. Well, I guess, like, it's not guaranteed that they have a... Uh... Oh, and then he can attack. Yeah. No. It's unfortunate. Ironically, if... No... Um, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Pog, um, it doesn't really matter, unfortunately. Just out of energy. Gosh, but we could do this if we just had the energy. So then we gotta. We just got to. Uh, we gotta play a little bit more ounce to energy in the deck. That's fine. Thank you, Professor Labs, for the sub in the three months. We knew we were riding it way too close on the energy count, and now we finally, like, definitely got burned for it. So. We just need to play another energy recovery card. Two rods is not enough. Yeah, probably an energy recycler. 
Energy recycler would be sick. Yeah, we use the Zashi, and if anybody's playing one of those Radiant Eternatus decks, we just kind of smack it. The deck is already such a potato, I would hate to take out the gears. The gears have saved us so many games. I think it's like minus one capture energy. You could go minus a cram. You just don't want to ever prize it. Honestly, the Orangaroo has been the worst card. If I'm just, if I'm being honest, that's the card we have not been using. Yeah, get that thing out of here. He's prized like every game anyway. So what's the point? I know I literally lost on the the Orangaroo like four games in a row. Exactly. It's because I don't need it. Let's see, we're gonna start Manaphy. Looks like I'm playing a Lost Box Mirror. We've got a solid opening hand. Manaphy in the active spot though, but that's okay. We've got a Poke Gear and a Quick Ball. We can definitely make this work. The Lost Box Mirror should be pretty decent for us. Zamazenta is really tanky and tough to knock out. And we've got Galarian Zigzagoon also, which can help us to take bonus prize cards. We've got our own Radiant Greninja, which we can use to Moonlight Shuriken and take bonus prize cards. So lots of options. My opponent's just got... Two cards in the Lost Zone. One of them's a Colris and a Paz. Top deck Comfy is great. I don't want to gear yet. We're just going to capture energy, the Mana Fee for Radiant Greninja. Check the prizes. Yeah, it all looks good. Looks good to me. Cool. Then we'll conceal cards. To draw a couple, then we can retreat into Comfy, Flower Selecting, and we got Zamazenta and Rope. I think we want to take the... It's weird because I don't actually want to rope the Greninja back up. I want to just knock out this Comfy, so... I mean, double rope could get there, but there's only two rope in the deck, I think. So take the Zamazenta. And then we're hoping for... Yep, swing and a miss. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. What's the point of playing that card, man? What's the point? It's fine. Um. Sure. So we're going to quick ball away Sableye. And go get Comfy. Bench our own Zamazenta and pass. So definitely not the start that we want. The gear, oh, the gear really let us down there. Yeah, you hate to see that, but that's just the way it goes. 
It's all good, though. We're going to get to really get into this game, hopefully, next turn. If we can find ourselves a Culrus. Start cooking a little bit. If my opponent plays their own escape rope, then I will push up Zamazenta or Greninja. With both of them down, I'm protected even against the double escape rope. They escape rope once, I send up Greninja. They send up, they escape rope again, I can send up Zamazenta. So I've got both those outs there, and I've got the Manaphy on my bench so that I don't have to worry about getting Moonlight Shuriken myself. And they've got Spit Innocently, so that's cool. They do not have a mana fee or anything, so we got that going for us. Let's concealed cards. Hmm. Sure. Draw two. We got Raihan. Okay, flower selecting, and we got Culrus, which is better. So we'll grab Culrus. Only got two cards in the Lost Zone. That's pitiful, honestly. We got Cart, Rope. Oh, it's so bad. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Because I don't have other scoop up nets. I only have these two comfy. That's really ugly. Okay, cart rope. And. Sableye. Sure. And. I'm thinking that we just go energy. On Zamazenta. Switch card pass. Okay. And then. There's one Mirage Gates. That's fine. Yes, they're definitely drawing better than us. They've got five, six cards in the Lost Zone now. We do have this Amazenta active. So hopefully it's kind of difficult for them to knock out unless they attack with Snorlax or something. We're really hoping that we can gain a turn back coming up. If we can gain this turn back, then we can get back into it. We're getting Marnied, actually, which, hallelujah, this hand is so terrible. So, four new cards it is. Well, you know, this hand's not exactly one to write home about, but that's okay. We do have concealed cards. And with the Marnie, I'm thinking that... They probably won't be able to launch a, an attack that takes a KO. I'm still live for a potential Moonlight Shuriken. They got two Confies down now, though. So if they don't find a Manaphy, that play is live for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in the Lost Zone now. They're sending their other Cramorants. And they just pass. And we top deck the Escape Rope. So now, now we're... Yeah, we're cooking. Let's see what we can do. Can I... I've got four cards in the Lost Zone. It's Concealed Cards, the Metal Energy. And... Escape Rope. And we will Flower Selecting. And we find, oh my god, 
scoop up net. It's cool. I should have another comfy in my deck, right? Theoretically, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> oh God. It's fine. Kramer ants. That's fine. All right. Right back in it. We're right where we need to be. Yep. Five to five prizes. This Zamazenta is getting built up. Just saying. He's just one energy away from attacking. All they got spit innocently. They don't have anything over there. They've probably got a handful of, uh, you know, like sky seal stones or something. Whew. I'll take that. Don't want to give them that. Scoop up nets. And we'll retaliate. I guess probably no reason not to play the comfy back down, but it's all good. Yo, with the Zigzagoon rip off the prizes? Big Z can just knock out Cramorants now. Let's go! Pretty sick nasty, just saying. Yeah, definitely we put that comfy down. I don't really... It's a Gudra deck? Holy smokes, what the heck? Bro? <laughs> There's a whole Gudra deck over there. <laughs> Oh, man. I did not know that. Too bad Rolling Shell doesn't take the KO, though. So, we I. Right. Do I still have my boss's orders, or did I play that? Oh, thank God I saved that. I was considering burning it early just to burn it, and then you never do that. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what they were doing, but there's, there's a Gudra deck. There's the goo. Now they're they're doing things. Yeah, they got ten cards in the law zone. They're they're cooking. And they can Sableye if they this deck doesn't even play Sableye, it just plays water, metal, and might play a Sableye. I don't know. Does it play Sableye? Nah, it's no Sableye. No, just water, metal, and capture energy. That's it. That's right, Zamazenta about to take this one right on the chin. No problem. Big Doggo's got it all day on the big shielded chin. Easy. He just eats this one. Now what's up with my escape ropes? I got one in the law zone. And I got one in the discard pile. So, this is going to go poorly. There's Culrus's experience. Wow, look at you. It's decided to show up. It's crazy. Culrus's experiments. Got boss's orders. Ordinary rod. Culrus. Gotta take the boss. Wanna take the rod. Energy Recycler. Two rods is fine. Yeah, we'll take these. This is pretty much a disaster. Huh. I'm only doing like 70 damage. It's fine. That's pretty much, it's pretty bad. We probably want to rod back in a couple of guys. Do both. 
Sure, these guys. And those guys, sure. I could quick ball and go get Cramorant. I mean, I'm doing. Yeah, that's that's probably good. Okay, so quick ball away, Zigzagoon. Go get Cramorant. Training courts. Water. Water. Sandy. I'm going to retreat into Cramorant. That way I'm maximizing my value out of Zamazenta. We smack it for 80. That's fine. So that way, if they do just take this knockout, I'm at least swinging for 220, which is like, okay, it's fine. I'll put the Zigzagoon in the discard pile. That's okay. I can, I can like probably knock out two confies at some point later on in the game. I can just go Sableye, let him have it. Or just, you know, Radiant Greninja. Either of those. The problem is this Gudra. So I probably need to add another escape rope to the deck. I need to make sure there's three, maybe even four. You just, you need to be able to like push the Gudra. But I guess, hmm. If you can't bring the Gudra back out, then what does it matter? Huh. Something to think about. Gudra is gaining popularity after its finish in uh, Liverpool. Cool. We baited the, the heel there. That's great. I got another temple. A-okay. That's fine. So we promote this guy. And we color his experiments. Gets metal. Wow, what just terrible cards. That's fine. <laughs> sure, man. Don't I have some of those uh Mirage Gatey things? Yeah, where where are them at? We'll retaliate. Because we only did 140, so they actually... It was a big missed opportunity. with it. They healed 80. They needed to definitely hold off one more turn. Because, what, 80 would have been 220. It's not a knockout. Nowhere near a knockout. So I think that misplay could cost them the game. Because I can't do enough damage. But I guess they don't... What, I could have done maybe 30 more? But it still would have... Uh, there was I was never hitting that number. After a rolling iron. Oh, I've got a third escape rope right here. Holy smokes. I thought I was out of rope. We play three rope. Oh, we play three rope. Oh, we're fine. We play three. I thought I only played two. Nah, we kept the third one. We're chilling, dude. Yeah, nothing can go wrong now. Not gonna lie though, these Gudras are a pain. What do you think? What what can we put in our deck to just beat Gudra? Mill tank? Put a milker in here? No, they play Cramorant. Mill tank doesn't do anything. How do you just take out the goo? I think I'm going to win this anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's see what these next four cards 
have in store for us. A Raihan. Okay. Oh, Rayquaza. That Rayquaza can do it. That's true. And they got Rolling Iron. Somehow, some way, we have still not seen any Mirage Gates. Where in the world are they? Okay, there, there they are. Found them. So... Hundred thirty hit points left. I need to hit with the Zamazenta, but the Zamazenta's gone. Let's flower selecting. Capture energy and metal energy. Yeah. Capture energy. I think I don't have enough. Oh, let's keep the metal energy. That's fine. It's Raihan to the Radiant Greninja. Nice. And there is a Water Psychic in the deck. Okay. So then... And there is one dude left in the deck. So I can accelerate those. I'm going to go get Rod. Okay, and then I'm going to Mirage Gate the Water Psychic right here. We're going to Ordinary Rod do both. We're going to put back in the Zamazenta, and we're going to put back in the Cramorant. And then we're going to put back in um, two metal energies. I think uh, I think I've got two metal energies is probably fine. That might be a misplay. Is it metal water? I've got a metal here. Three metals in the holy smokes. It's, it's double metal. All right. Oh, all right, it's one metal, and I lose, okay. Oh, man, bro. Man. <laughs> I thought I had a second left, man. What time did it time me out at? Was it zero? Dang. All right, that's fine. We would have had that one for sure. I forgot what energy were in my deck. Trying to close that one out. But that's fine. This deck still slaps. I think we were going to win that game. But who knows? I had a psychic, so I had to be two metal. Just put the two metal in, go knock out the two comfies, and then who knows what I'm, I get off my prizes there. Yeah. Take our two mulligans. All right. Nice. We get to use the guy. We're up against Arceus Duralodon VMAX with our 
Zamazenta Lost Box deck featuring Amazing Zashian. So we're going to see just how amazing that Zashian is when paired up against Duralodon VMAX. It does 300 damage to Pokemon VMAX. That's pretty cool. I'm stoked about that. Battle VIP Pass and our Confies are there. We do also want Radiant Greninja. I can Quick Ball for that, though. So we're going to start off with... Uh, actually, we're going to start off with these. And then we conceal cards and we'll toss a Psychic. And we find our other Confi, which is great. We can do that. Retreat. Flower selecting. Find Raihan and Quick Ball. We've already got a Quick Ball in our hand, so we'll take the Raihan. And then Scoop Up Net, Comfy, send up the other Comfy, Flower Selecting again. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh. yes. You are coming with me. And then we'll Poke Gear. And we find the Culrus, which is great. And we're just going to let this Colrus rip. Scoop up net. Switch cart and metal energy. Those are all good cards. Now we've got four cards in the Lost Zone. Scoop up net Comfy and Flower Select one more time. Capture energy and metal energy. We'll keep the metal. Bench the Comfy, switch card into the Cramorant. We've already attached for turn, so that's all well and good. We can Quick Ball away. Honestly, Sableye is fine. And just go slap a fat Zamazenta on the bench, and then we'll spit innocently. That's fine. Putting the Zamazenta down is cool because if they Marnie, I want to just have it there so that I can maybe retaliate and knock out Arceus V-Star next turn. I do have the Evolution Incense. And they're going in. I did discard my Sableye, but we played two rods. Well, I've got one rod left in deck. <laughs> and sure enough, they are going to Marnie. We've also got Energy Recycler, so we've got some recovery cards left. Escape Rope and Switch Cart are good, so that we can Flower Select a couple of times. They've got the Duraludon in play now, so my amazing Zashian is activated and ready to go. Be nice to get some damage counters on these Duraludon first, so that, you know, I'm swinging for a knockout with Zashian. I do have Galarian Zigzagoon, so I mean, I could ping, but the Galarian Zigzagoon is really just best for Mew VMAX, getting that extra 10 damage on one, or in the Lost Box Mirror, it's really good, allowing you to Sableye Lost Mine, multiple Confi in the same turn, also just generally good at fixing math when you happen to be a little bit short, you know, with Moonlight Shuriken or... Cramorant has a lot of good uses for it. Against Reggie's, you can reach to 120 or 130 with a couple of Zigzagoon pings before you get Zamazenta out and start swinging. So they're going to knock out Cramorant's and Accelerate Energies to Duraludon VMAX, exactly what we would expect. We've got five cards in the Lost Zone. So we'll be at seven after a couple of flower selectings. Let's go concealed cards first. And then flower selecting. Mirage Gate is kind of that card that we want right now. So we'll grab a Mirage Gate. And then switch cart. 
Flower selecting again. Cramorant. Hmm. We're missing an energy. That's tough. I could just go swing with Cramorant. And just say, you know, if you keep 30 damage on your guy, they might Hyper Potion the Geralt on this next turn. Yeah, they may. I haven't retreated yet, so let's escape rope. I would really like to find the Colrus's experiment. That would be big. Let's see who they send up. Are they going to send up Duraladon V? If they send up Duraladon V, I'm going to be less inclined to want to swing with Cramorant. But if they send up this guy, then I will be pretty motivated to want to swing with Cramorant. Yeah. Okay. So we get to Flower Select one more time. We find a Metal Energy and a Grass Energy. So I have to keep the Grass Energy if I want to attack with Zashian at all. And I do. So we're going to keep that. And then... Bench the Cramorant. And retreat. Spit innocently for 110. Unfortunately, we did not find a Coerces experiment that turn, so that's kind of tough. But we're still putting pressure on. Swinging with Cramorant is good, and if they do not heal, Zamazenta can just come in. If they don't heal at all. Uh, 110 plus 220, it does add up to 330. So we're still still chilling. I should have yeah, there are my other cramorants in the discard pile, unfortunately. So we are a little bit tight on our attackers. We've got the Mirage Gates, so I need a metal energy off the top of the deck. We just lost zoned one, unfortunately. There's one in the lost zone, one in my discard. So it looks like they're just going to go Arceus and Accelerate. That's fine. So we want to find Zamazenta and just take this knockout. That's what we want, but we need to find a supporter or something, because right now we're dry. Water energy. Yeah. Let's conceal cards. There we go. Okay. It's good. Colors is experiments. Rod, metal, water. Yep. Okay. But we need a switch card. My God. Yeah, we do. Um, not out of the woods yet. Flower selecting. Okay. That's fine. So then we go. <laughs> I could swing with. I could just swing with Zashi in this turn. Can I? Yeah, I think I can. I think we just go in with that. It's like, all right, well, we see. I have to, so I can quick ball and discard the Zigzagoon. And we've got actually just two metal in the deck, but I can put them back in. I can put metals back in. I've got the rod in my hand. I've got the energy recycler too. So we can do that. We've got good cards left in the deck. So we do that. And then... We say, and I got a psychic in my discard pile, right? Yeah. So then we say rope. And we're like, all right. And if they promote this guy, I go Zamazenta. And if they promote this guy, I go Zashian. So that's 
So that's the game plan. I'm going to go with that guy. I'm going to go Zamazenta. And math it out perfectly. Okay. So then we... I think I want to Energy Recycler, save the Ordinary Rat in case they gust my Zashi in. Yeah, it's a perfect Recycler. Wow, thank God we have this card in the deck. Holy smokes, this is broken. I get to put all of these back in the deck? Oh my God, that's crazy. Woo, that's so much better than Ordinary Rod. Good God. Are we going to do that? Mirage Gate. Do these guys. And then retaliate. 220 damage. Let's go. See ya, Duralodon. We'll take our three prize cards. Culrus's Experiment. Scoop Up Net. Man, all the good cards were prized. That's why I was having such a tough time. Man, they were all in my prize cards. What the heck, bro? We've still got the Ordinary Rod, and they're not going to Gust. They have Raihan. So that means that I can come in with Amazing Sword and smack for 300 damage, which is pretty crazy. And then the thing is, I'll never have to knock out this Arceus because they're hyper pushing the Arceus. I'm not attacking this thing ever. I'm just going to escape rope or boss around it straight up. So I will never touch that thing again. So they pulverize the Zamazenta, take the knockout. I send up Zashian and I can just Raihan to it. Go get the Mirage Gate. Yep. So we're going to Raihan the metal to the Zashian and get the Mirage Gates. That's fine. And then we accelerate grass and psychic to it and I've got another mirage gate in the deck but I don't have an attacker in the deck but I've got the rod in my hand so that's fine so we get that and we go mirage gates for these okay I'm going to save the stadium save the gas no real reason to do any of that. I could conceal cards. That's fine. Great. And then I could put a psychic energy onto Comfy just to give myself like an extra little push at the end if I get Marnied or something. And we're going to Amazing Sword for 300 damage. And then all I have to do is just finish this thing off. I mean, they could Hyper Potion, but they're probably not going to Hyper Potion twice. And even if they do Hyper Potion twice, it's still possible for me to come back in with Zashi in again. I could rot it back into the deck, find it. No, most Duraludon decks only play two Hyper Potion. And they've already used one. So we're probably fine. Also, if they do Hyper Potion twice, I can just... Uh, I can just... I mean, they have three prizes left. We still have time on our side. We're, we're chilling. I have Boss and Rope to bring that thing up. All right. And I have Radiant Greninja. I've got a million outs to win the game. This is definitely GG's. We'll send up comfy actually you guys want to do this the fun way I've got boss's orders here too Let's see do I have enough I could rod back in rod back in Cramorant yeah alright there's like a million ways to do it but it's cool I'm gonna do both that's fine we're gonna put back in Sableye uh, I was going to say we could triple zigzagoon it, but nah, all right, all right. Let's just end the game. 
So comfy KO? Bro, comfy? Oh yeah, all right, we're gonna do it that way. Comfy does it! All right, you're right. That's the most fun way to do it, for sure. GG's Duralodon. Yeah, what's up? Spinning attack. Didn't think I had it like that. Did ya? <laughs> That's crazy. There we go. Comfy with the finishing touch. Insane deck. Oh, yeah, that was an easy YouTube game. Easy peasy YouTube game right there. We got to use Zamazenta. We got to use Zashian. We finished the game with Comfy. That checked all the boxes, okay? Yeah, that one, that one checked all the content boxes for sure. And that's why friends don't like fr friends don't let friends play Arceus Duraldon, okay? Just don't. It's not worth it. All right, be crazy. What uh, what you got going on over there? Care to share with the class? Cool. Looks like I'm playing against Hisuian Zoark V-Star. This is a deck that damages its own bench, and I love to see that playing a Lost Box deck. We've got Cramorant, Sableye. Mm, kind of awkward. I want to go get Comfy, and I want to go get Radiant Greninja, but I don't want to quick ball away any of these cards in my hand. So I'm going to start by quick balling away the Psychic Energy, and we'll go get Radiant Greninja. Ouch! And we're going to Concealed Cards. Okay, we find scoop up nets and metal energy. So let's go. Scoop up nets, the Radiant Greninja, and do it again. Ow! Nice, battle VIP pass. Get the two confies. And then escape rope into comfy and flower selecting find gear and let it rip we find colrus those of you guys telling me to cut this card do you see do you see how good it is At almost every game we're like got a gear for the colrus and we do all right it's almost every single game people be like oh yeah let that thing go no absolutely not this deck is an inconsistent pile you need that card man you decrease the deck's pile energy by at least like three dozen when you play the gear it's an incredible pile without the gear i mean just like the the piliest pile there ever was okay got that three cards Did I flower select twice? Did I use both of these? Anybody in the chat? Can I switch card into this and use it? <laughs> I, I have forgotten. Uh, you used it. I'm pretty sure I did. I've got three. I have... 
I'm pretty sure I used it. All right, so let's go. And I already attached, did I already attach and retreat? No, I didn't attach. I know that because I can still attach. It's glowing. All right, that's fine. Flower select. Boy. That's fine. The energy recycler is broken. I'm so stoked we're playing that card. Ow! So stoked we're playing that card. The card's insane. I'm going to spit innocently. We'll do that. We got there. Four cards in the Lost Zone. Nice 110 damage on the Hisuian Zork V-Star. It's looking good. Looking good. We got a quick ball. We can go get Zamazenta if we need to. Do anything we want to do. Like, win the game. Nice. Hmm. Playing good decks is broken, man. Man. Tell you what, it feels great to not be playing a bad deck. Playing bad decks is stressful. Playing good decks rocks. Looks like I'm up against Shadow Rider Calrex V Max. Maybe it's playing the new Radiant Eternatus to help get Shadow Riders into play. Either way, I don't really care. We do really well against Pokemon VMAX. That's what this deck is built to destroy between Zamazenta and Zashian. We got all the answers. They're getting out, Espeon. That ain't going to save you. Not when I'm smacking you for 300 damage. It's not. And we've got a really strong opening with Battle VIP Pass and Culver's Experiment. So we'll use Battle VIP Pass and go get... Greninja and Comfy, and then Culver's Experiment. Holy moly cow. Okay, all right. That's fine. This, this is fine. Okay. Two Mirage Gate and two Nets. We're going to lose some good cards here. There's just... There's just no way around it. Yeah. We're definitely sacking some good stuff. So that's fine. I mean, I really want to Cramorant turn one, but maybe we find another one. That's fine. Okay. Let that water energy go. Battle VIP pass. That's why you play two Kramer Ants. And now we're chilling. Excellent. Now we can retreat the Sableye into Comfy and start selecting some flowers. We don't need Sableye number two. Honestly. One's fine. Especially in this matchup, we're going to be swinging with Zashian and Ooh, when you already have all your Pokemon and can let go of those on the first turn of the game, feels good, man. And then, I mean, I don't mind using Escape Rope, honestly. So, yeah, let's scoop up net this. Select again, Rod and Raihan. It's funny, you only need the one Rod, really, when you're playing the... Recycler, so we'll keep the Raihan and bench that rope and swing turn one with Cramorant. And we're building nice, yeah, we're building towards something real, real nice. 
We've got five in the Lost Zone. We've got a Mirage Gate and a Metal Energy in my hand. So if we can find Zamazenta this next turn. Colrus Zamazenta. Oh, it's Marnie. Okay. See you, hand. Maybe these next four cards will be uh, good ones. And they're not fantastic, but we do have an escape route, which will help. Concealed cards ready to help us dig out of this as well. And they've got their Starbirth V-Star power they can use to go get whatever cards they want out of the deck. Sableye is going to be more or less useless after that Espeon, you know, comes online. But I'm pretty sure the Espeon's only got like 300 hit points. So, I mean, we could even one-hit KO that with... Um, you know, with our Zashian. So we're doing okay. I mean, really, we got time on our hands. I don't want to knock out this Arceus. Really, I just want to knock out two three prizers to win the game. It would definitely be the fastest route to victory. The best use of my resources. So maybe the escape rope early on was a mistake. I could have just swung with the Cramorant into a Shadow Rider. They've got their... Oh, it's 310 hit points. They've got their... Yeah, their three V-Maxes set up, which is exactly what they want. And now they're going to go throw some extra energy in play. So they've negated Sableye. And this is all they're going to give me. Yeah, yeah, hitting into the Arceus now that I'm looking at this board was definitely a mistake, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Got boss's orders. Let's conceal cards. We find Zamazenta and Comfy. Flower selecting. We've got Raihan. And Capture. Um. Yeah, let's take the Raihan. And escape rope. Okay. Flower selecting. We find gear. Gear. Colrus. Gear haters, where are you at? Man. Never cut the gear. Why would you ever do that? Yeah. Culver's his experiments. Oh! Ah! <laughs> that's a... That's a ugly looking... Uh, that's... Sheesh. <laughs> Hideous. Okay. We got five. Nine. Doesn't matter. I'm not using Lost Mine anyway. We've got more than enough. Okay. Bench Zamazanta. Attach Metal Energy. Pass. It's fine. That's cool. Sometimes you call us into four energy. That is just part of the deal. We're chilling. We could also gust up and knock out the Espeon, which would then allow me to Sableye. So that's kind of cool. But we've got time. All I gotta do is knock out these guys. I do have two escape ropes down. Yeah, I mean, I guess. It's Sableye for sure. They're not gusting. That's good. I do hope that they just attack with the Shadow Rider. 
that would be huge for me because I'm down two escape ropes. So I've only got one left. Oh, yeah, baby. We're chilling. So now we send up this guy. And... I ain't got no metal in that. Well, let me fix that. Concealed carts. And then... Or Raihan, the metal to the Zamazenta. I'm gonna go get another Zamazenta. Yeah, that's just like super chill. Got an escape rope left. Let's grab the. Actually, just gonna get a Mirage Gate. Capture energy. Go get this. Ah, I've only got one energy left in my deck. Dang it. Should have gotten something else. <laughs> but that's okay. Should have gotten a recovery card. Should have gotten a supporter card. But it's cool. We're going to retaliate. Huh. Yeah, I need to get one of those recovery cards for sure. Should have gotten a switch card. I didn't realize I was so low on energy in the deck. So they're going to retreat that thing. And I guess it's on me. I'm sending up Comfy. I still got time. So that's okay. And escape rope still pushes up just one of these guys. And I've got escape rope in the deck. So we can do that. We've got rod and energy recycler in the deck. And I doubt they're going to put down any other Pokemon. They probably are just going to try and lead this Arceus and hope that that's going to get them there. And that I can't get around it. But I've got the boss and the escape rope. Man, we need like one more energy in the deck. How do I have no energy? Did I loss zone too many? Not really. I feel like I'm just, yeah. I mean, I guess that's just how many energy we play in the deck. I guess, I guess so. All right. So they're gonna take the knockout. Skaters Park, what do you do when it when we retreat? We get to keep it. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Comfy and the rod off the top. That's an insane top deck. That is insane for sure. So, if I can find a switch card, we're getting in there with some nasty. There we go. You guys want to knock out the Espeon? Prevent all effects of attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your time has come, friend. We've got one metal energy in the deck. Bench Zashian. Headbutt Tantrum. Ordinary Rod. Both, please. We're going to send back in Sableye and Cramorant. And we're going to send back in... There's a metal. We need the Psychic and the metal back into the deck. Very good. And then we Mirage Gate, Psychic in the Metal, Grass, Scoop Up Nets, Zashian, Boss's Orders, and Amazing Sword for 300 damage. And that's three prizes. Let's go. See ya, Espeon. Yeah, get out of here. I want to Sableye to take my... Final three prizes. An Espeon is gone. Zashian sword is too amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. With the assist via Galarian Zigzagoon. That's pretty cool. 
Love that. Who knew Zashian and Zamazenta would end up being uh, in the same deck together? They've got the Shadow Rider. There's no way they play like a Cheryl, right? That would be... Ah! <laughs> no! All right, what do we got? This is really ugly. It's fine. We're chilling. 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 We're totally fine. There's no way they got two Cheryls, right? We're fine. We're fine. We got it right. We smack it, and then we finish it off with Sableye. That's it. Energy Recyclers right here. Okay. Cram Rant, Sableye, Raihan. Okay. Flower selecting. Training courts and metal energy. So. Keep the metal energy. Where's our... Mirage Gate's at. Keep that. It's got to be Mirage Gate, right? Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, of course there's a Mirage Gate. Why would there not be a Mirage Gate? There we go. Okay. And then we go Energy Recycler. And we're going to put back in that. We're going to put back in that. We're going to put back in that, that, and that. Okay. And then... We're going to Mirage Gate. Keep the Psychic in the deck. Yeah, there are two Mirage Gates in there. Crazy. Do that. Metal. And that's all fine. I don't think I want to actually bench the Sableye because it could get knocked out. So we just hang tight here and retaliate. Okay. They're not going to Cheryl again. That would be crazy. No way. I'm telling you I'm putting Drapion in this deck, okay? I'm putting Drapion. Because if we had Drapion, you just charge up the Drapion and there he goes. I'm telling you we're putting... We're putting Big Daddy D in the deck. One day. Maybe not yet. That is a very large hand they have, but they just have to retreat. Maybe they're retreating so that they can Cheryl again. Let's see, they're doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. They ain't got it. Collapsed. That's not enough damage. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16, 16. Oh my God. I lose, bro. That's it. They can, it's 10. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16, 16. It's perfect math. I'm telling you, we need Drapion, dude. 
I gusted up. We knocked out the Espeon. It was so sick. And then... Uh, I mean, when the VMAXers are getting healed like that, there's nothing we could do, man. What more could I do? Yeah. Oh, man, just miserable. A Roxanne. Amazing Kyogre, I agree. An amazing Kyogre. Then we're cooking. All right, that's well played. You know, I'll give you the well played. That is, that is well, you know what? That was well played. I came out swinging. And we got smoked. Dang, dude. That was crazy. That's fine. That's fine. Brush it off, chat. Eh, I probably want a hand disruption card. But they could still have it. That was a sick game. I'll probably still put that in the YouTube video. Because people like seeing spicy decks. So, we'll put that one in. I still got to do what my deck does. I just got bodied. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that we'll put that one in. That's fine. We did what we were supposed to do. We just got they just healed twice. All right. We're up against Mew VMAX. Enemy number one. And I still don't have a Drapion in the list. I know the whole video is going to be me talking about how we should put a Drapion in this Lost Box deck. And yet, refusing to put a Drapion in the Lost Box deck. We're just, you know, it's like the 61st card. We can get by without it. I bet you we win this game without it. But, you know, it would make things a lot easier if we had it in the deck. We'll see how this one goes. We got flower selecting. We got Zamazenta. We got a quick ball and a scoop up net. Let's get into it. Another scoop up net. Don't mind if I do. Let's. I like the Zigzagoon for sure. Let's quick ball away the water energy. We've got Radiant Greninja and Zashian in the grass. They're all in the deck. That's good news. So we'll put down this guy and scoop of nets. And we're going to start selecting some flowers. Metal Energy. Or another Comfy. Think I'm okay. And we'll take another Comfy. Okay with that. We'll scoop up net again. Flower selecting. Colrus. Hello, Colrus. Hello. Capture energy. Mirage gates. Metal energy. Really? Really? Three cards in the loss zone. About to be five. Can I live with... I think I... Can I live with two loss zone metal energies? Technically. But the doctor doesn't advise it. I think we take these. Okay. Okay. And then we just go here and say, like, it's okay. It's actually okay if I don't attack turn one. It doesn't really matter. You know, attacking turn one's pretty good. But it doesn't really matter. They could just Psychic Leap or whatever. So 
So let's do that. Retreat. Flower selecting. Hello, friend. Okay. Bench that. Bench that. And then hold everything else. That seems fine. Not going to waste my Zigzagoon ping yet because, yeah, they're going to go in with somebody. They also don't really know what I'm doing yet because my Lost Box list is spicy. So they don't know. I got one, five, six cards in the Lost Zone. We're real close to a Mirage Gate. So that feels really good. And I'm getting judged. Dang it. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. That looks like a judge hand. It's fine. That's why I wanted the three confies. So that I would have two after the uh after the confie gets knocked out. That's good. And here we go. The knockout. Fortunately we have six cards in the loss zone, so really if I can just dig out of this. Find a Culris or a Mirage Gate, get swinging, that'd be that'd be swell. It's flower selecting. We've got Mirage Gate. Okay. So let's escape route. See who they promote. Their other mute. Flower selecting, and it's ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> There's only one of those. Uh, it's fine. Do what you got to do, you know. All right. So no F's in the chat for amazing Zashi, and that's that's fine, I guess. Colrus's experiments. Why is it all just so painful? Everything, just all pain all the time. Just constant pain and suffering. Just it's all we get here. <laughs> just everything is pain, bro. <laughs> everything. Everything is just all pain. <laughs> Yeah. That's fine. All right. Mirage Gate. A 220. Where's my Radiant? Radiant Greninja's in the deck. So, I mean, I could theoretically... It's probably an out of Moonlight Shuriken game. We've got two Mirage Gates in there. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to do those there. Mirage Gate again. Metal. Water. Metal energy here. Water energy here. And Retaliate. And we'll do 220 damage to the Mew VMAX. That's fine. They could Psychic Leap this Mew. That would be pain. However, the cool thing about Zamazenta is that they probably can't Psychic Leap and knock out the Zamazenta. I mean, this thing is fat. He's thick. He's got broad shoulders, you know? Really, really, really broad shoulders, actually. When you look at them, I mean, these shoulders are obnoxiously broad. They don't... They don't get any broader than that. That's as broad as they come. This is Mew Aerodactyl. All right, so they got the Aerodactyl technology in the Mew deck. Very cool. And they're using Rotom Phone. They're drawing cards. They're doing things. They're cooking. They're baking the cake. Mew Aerodactyl, it's become, uh, it's become a thing lately. The 1-1 one, one Aerodactyl line in the Mew VMAX deck. Yeah. 
That was seeing some play at the San Diego Regional Championships. Yeah, Xander Perro is playing that. Unfortunately, looks like they may be psychically being my comfy. But if they do that, then you leave the Zamazenta to wreak some more havoc. But, God, we are just grinding out here. See what I'm saying? We need a Drapion, dude. Drapion smooth this right on out. You know who... Do That's fine. This hand was atrocious. You know who doesn't miss that knockout? Drapion. Holy smokes, this hand is terrible. It's all so terrible. Every combination of four cards is terrible. All right, so they're going to Psychic Leap. Yeah, that's fine. And send up who? Mu V Max again. I've got all six prizes left to take. Things are starting to get a little sketchy. Flower selecting. Mirage Gates and my other Zamazenta. I can't attack with this thing. This is just so much pain, bro. Everything is so much pain. If I let this Zamazenta go, can I realistically even win? We'll keep that. Okay. Put down the Sableye. Escape route. So that way I'm taking, I guess I'll take two prizes, you know. That's fine. Kramer Ant. And retaliate for the two. So we're tied up. But my resources are starting to feel a little slim. That's a terrible prize. To, oh my god. Just this is this is the betrayal game, dude. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong. It's just like these are the most cursed. Everything is cursed. Everything is miserable. Yeah. Nothing feels good. I wish I had Drapion. I don't. They're about to loss zone my only Zamazenta. Yeah, bro, we are. Just pack it up, dude. I had to loss zone my grass energy. Nah, man, this is. This is just absolutely atrocious. If I had a grass energy in my deck, we have like a, a shot, you know, but. Um, yeah, I don't even have anything left. We got to take the boss and just say like, well, I'm going to put that down just to scare him. How to put it? They don't know. Switch card. I just, oh, good God. Yes. <laughs> See. <laughs> I can't rod anybody back into the deck, bro. There ain't nothing left to rod, man. Um, and I think I got rid of my stadium so it's just like that stadium's just gonna ah oh, it's so bad okay flower selecting I've got radiant greninja but I need to find it They've only got two prizes left. I can't do it. It can't be done. I'm short.
There you go. Now they're now they're quivering in their boots. That's right. Now if I had Drapion! Alright, Drapion's going into the deck instantly. Drapion just Drapion is in the deck, okay? You may not want to accept it or come to terms with it. This deck's gonna have a Drapion in it. Straight up. Needs it. Yeah, that's exactly where I put my Drapion if I had one. Yeah, what's up, Meeg's Toast? Really? You've been here since my first ever stream? Wow, well, thanks. Hopefully you're doing well. Dang, they got the big charm technology too. That's crazy. All right, there's nothing I can do. But guess what? This deck just drafted a Drapion. That's right. And we get to play the handsome one. You just need to find one card to cut. Just one card. The Zashian's busted, dude. Listen. He's cool, man. There's only two switch card in here? Dang. When did we cut Guru? Energy Recycler ago. It's never VIP pass. You guys are... It's never VIP pass. It's like, it could be a quick ball, but that feels really bad. It could be one capture energy. Then just play four quick no cap. No, the capture's good for like just randomly attacking and stuff. That's cool. Man, you guys are going to be so happy that we've got a Drapion in here now. Imagine. Shadow Rider, Calrex, VMAX. No way, buddy. Mewtwo V Union. Sorry. Mew VMAX. Goodbye. You don't need two grass energy. Just get the one. That's fine. One grass is fine. Yeah, just don't draw into those situations that I was drawing into. Just don't do that. Looks like I'm playing against Turbo Dark. And we've got our brave little Manaphy in the active spot. Battle VIP pass. And a Colrus off the top. Holy moly, let's go. We've got the juice. Well, let's get these guys and concealed cards. Discard the psychic energy and Culrus. Off of the Culrus, we've got some, you know, some cards. Those are some cards, all right. 
That's fine. Do we need the quick ball? I mean, quick ball's pretty good. It allows me to get another basic Pokemon. Don't need the Zigzagoon. Don't need the Rod. All right, here we go. So we'll do that and retreat into Comfy. Quick ball away this Sableye. Go get another Comfy. And we're selecting. Don't need that grass, but then I also don't need this. I don't really need this anymore either. We just didn't find any switch cards turn one, which is just kind of not cool, but it's fine. We'll get there next turn. Bench Zamazenta and pass. Then what? We've got three cards in the loss zone. No turn one attack. That's okay. We didn't find a single switch card. No scoop up net. No switch. No escape rope. None of it. So, surely we'll find some switch cards in the, in the next handful, right? We've got to. And three cards in the Lost Zone, considering we didn't see a switch card on our first turn, is pretty good. This should be an incredibly favorable matchup for us, because Zamazenta just does, I mean, it just does a lot of damage, dude. 220 damage, putting these things... Yeah, Zamazenta's math just really checks out with, like, the whole deck. 90, 110 with the Cramorant, 120 with Sableye. Zamazenta living its best life, doing exactly what it needs to do. So that's cool. They're cooking. Yeah, they're doing stuff. They got Ultra Ball. They're moving. They've got two energy. Dark Pulse for 90. Another Dark Rack. Can they move this thing? No. I take back what I said about them cooking. They're not cooking. That's like the antithesis of cooking. They're uh, actually just really doing nothing. That's cool. We found a switch card. Here's Culrus's experiment. There's another switch card. And we want that. So we're going to take these guys, and then we're going to start selecting some flowers. Select the flowers. Woo-wee. Let's we'll see. Uh, we'll take the Kramer amp. Sure. And then we're going to scoop up Nat again. Send up this guy. And select some flowers. Eh, I don't really need him this game. There's no VMAXs in there. I know VMAXs over there. So, I could just swing with the Greninja. That's pretty cool. Just damage the Moltres and the Crobat. I like that. Let's go for it. Put those onto the Greninja. Attach there. I can... Yeah, that's fine. I can also... Nah, I don't want to waste all these resources... That deck doesn't play Disruption, never does. Do that, do that. Yeah, I'm keeping this hand for next turn, guaranteed. So we're gonna smack the Crobat and the uh, Moltres since those guys are pretty much guaranteed to not evolve. So, we get to keep them right there. Where are they at? And then, you know, they bring up Darkrai. I go Mirage Gate onto Zamazenta. And we're feeling pretty good about the situation. This thing's got 90 hit points left. This thing's got 130. Easy. And they research. We're chilling. We could even put the Greninja back into the deck and do it again. I could Moonlight Shuriken these two one more time. Put this thing to... 40 hit points left. And then swing into Dark Rai for 220 damage with Zamazenta. There we go. Dark Pulse. Okay, so he's goner. We'll send up Comfy. We've got Culver's experiment. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Hey. 
1738. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's do energy recycler. Put those back in. That back in. That back in. Cool. And then we want to. I guess I need to like find an energy. So let's select a little bit. Raihan or Drapion. We've got Raihan. Raihan just guarantees it. So that's sweet. Does guarantee it. Yes. So we're going to bench this and we're going to Raihan the grass to Zamazenta and go get the metal. And then we're going to attach the metal from hand and Mirage Gate those to the Zamazenta, scoop up Nat the Comfy, and retaliate for 220. There we go. Cool. I like that. Yeah, Lost Box hates it when the opponent heals. That's just like the one thing you never want. So long as they just don't heal, then you can just set up the perfect win. That's just, you just need them to not... Don't do any of that healing stuff. It's super cringe. Okay. So now... I mean, I can just boss up the Darkrai and take two prizes. That's pretty sick. But it's also just... This thing's got how much? 50 hit points? 50 plus... 90, I mean, it's like, we can start going for Sableye plays. Got a Sableye in our discard pile. How many Quick Ball do we have in there? discard pile? One there, one there. So only one Quick Ball left in the deck. So let's promote the Sableye and just take the boss knockout. Sure. Training Court off the top is very good. We're going to gust up this Dark Rye. And we're going to Ordinary Rod. Do both. We're going to put back in Greninja and Sableye. Is that my second Ordinary Rod? Yes. That's fine. Yep, put those guys back into the deck. Those guys back into the deck. Yo, what's up, wise man? Welcome to the chat. And hello, Jerka Salda as well. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys for hanging out here. Hopefully you're having a great day so far. So we've got that. Drop this training court too. Get the metal energy. We can drop this metal energy onto Zamazenta so it's ready to go. And we spit innocently for the knockout. That feels real good. We take our first two prizes. And we've got four prizes set up right here. Crobat and Moltres both heavily damaged, which feels fantastic. Then we just need to get this Sableye going and Lost Mine. I've got six, eight cards in the Lost Zone, so Culver says Experiment will get me to ten... Nice, that's a Dark Rye Ho -Oh deck. That's pretty fun. With Thornton. I see. They've got the technology. So they're going to Dark Pulse, leaving the Crobat and the Moltres there. Water energy. Cool. Let's Colrus. Wow. I mean... Yeah. That's a lot of rope. <laughs> that's a, holy moly, that's that's some rope right there. We got save line. Okay. And we'll do that. Escape rope.
and I'll see who they put up. That's fine. Flowers locked again. Take the psychic. We got the psychic switch cart, and we can lost mine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three. And then if we just Sableye one more time, we can win. We can also, yeah, it's got 100 hit points. We can also Zigzagoon. Is there a Zigzagoon? Did I ditch the Zigzagoon? Of course I did. I always ditch the Zigzagoon. Yeah, one more Sableye and we got it. So we just got to find that fella. Capture energy. Nice of you to show up. That's what's up. Yeah, that should just do it, right? Yeah, there's totally a Sableye in there, right? There is. Okay, cool. So, Capture Energy, Sableye, Raihan, Psychic to the Sableye, and that is GG's! Lost mine. Place all the rest of the damage counters right over there on Moltres, and you're done, buddy. Six prizes and the game. Okay. And we might not. <laughs> He's like cool. He's cool, but he could be anything really. And we got what? One grass and one Zashi. And this could easily be Kyogre. And just another water energy. And then a second energy recycler somewhere. Could play choice belts. Could play choice belt instead of Zigzagoon. Oh, we'd have to put a not amazing Kyogre, uh, just the celebrations Kyogre. We could do that one. Or cool. The, the deck's fun. I mean, it's it's dope. It's working. It's doing what we needed to do. Oh, finally a decent opening hand. God, I feel like if I played a deck like Lost Box at a regional championships, I'd be so exhausted. Oh my god. Just the deck betraying me left and right all day. Playing against Tisuian Arcanine. We have got a great start. Oh, yeah. Radiant Greninja right there. Zamazenta. Quick ball in the opening hand. Feels good, man. We'll just start out by getting good old Zamazenta. Radiant Greninja. Comfy. Let's party. Flower selecting. Want that scoop up net. To get cards into the law zone. We can sack one. That's okay. And we've got a rod in the hand as well. So I'm okay putting that one in the discard pile. Yeah, the recyclers are a really good card. And you know what? We're not going to want to Raihan on turn two. We're going to want to Culver's experiment. So we'll let one of our Raihan go and keep on pushing now that's that is fine yeah lost box is all about the tough choices but that's okay flower selecting that's an easy one and then we can quick ball and go get one more copy and with that, we will pass. We've got four cards in the law zone. Minimal casualties. Two scoop up nets down. Holy Squirtle! You play what? 
You're doing, huh? People think because Scarlet and Violet's coming out, you can put Stage 2 Pokemon in your deck? No, 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 no. Sableye still exists. We're going to eat those things alive. Apparently, according to Ethan Heggie, who is living in Japan and going to school there right now, he says that post-rotation, because Japan's playing post-rotation already, so post-rotation, he says is uh, just Lost Box is still very, very good. So some people will love to hear that. Some people will hate to hear that. Uh, like Acuity, what, all your water Pokemon that have water or fighting energy attached take 20 less. Show me too? Hmm. Probably don't need the boss this game. Boss is good. All right. That's fine. And let's select some flowers. Scoop up nets. Let's do it. Going in. Culbris. Six, seven, eight cards in the Lawson. We've got Mirage Gate. I've got a Psychic Energy. Let's well, Escape Rope. See if I can find one more energy of either water or... M yeah, I guess actually it wouldn't make sense to go metal. So we want to find a water energy for sure. I could also... Attack with Cramorant, which is totally fine. We'll probably just do that. Concealed cards, not save lie time yet. Find a metal energy. Yeah, I mean, we don't really want to hit into this thing for less damage with the Lake Acuity. It's kind of annoying. But we'll probably just have to. So, yeah, let's do that. Now, well, the goon's not going to help us out a lot with that, like, acuity right there. Yeah, put the metal onto Zamazenta, and we're going to spit innocently for 90. It's fine. We're down two ropes, three nets, one switch cart, so got to be a little bit careful with our switch situation for the remainder of the game but uh, we should be cruising we don't have to worry about this guy at all they can irida for rare candy blastoise but you're just giving me so much time to set up and put damage on board and just grow my hand size that i really don't mind that's fine So we've got an exciting stream tomorrow. Tomorrow, Jesse's going to be joining me for Tabletop. We got Tabletop, Scarlet, and Violet gameplay. Post-rotation decks. Very much looking forward to that. Now, how do you guys think the Miraidon deck should be built? I've been thinking about that. I love lightning-type Pokemon. What do you guys think? Right on, Reggie. That's what I was thinking. Because Reggie Lecky. Reggie Lecky is actually kind of nasty. It's got that wall attack that takes 100 less damage. No, I think you actually want to evolve up the Regieleki through Regieleki V, because I think Regieleki V is actually really good. You guys are talking about Regieleki V, Max, right? 
Me ride on with Reggie Lucky VMAX. Make sure we're all on the same page. Because that's how I was imagining it being built. Dang, that's a lot of reduction, you know? Nice. Okay. Yeah, let's just see what they let's see what they're cooking. Dundozo content. I didn't even think I got four Dundozo in my opening. I think I got like two. I think it's just Miradon. Yeah, Miradon Reggie Lucky V Max seems like the way because then you can increase Miradon's damage output to hit numbers that it needs to hit, and then against the little stuff. I mean, Regilecki V also has this cool hit and run attack. It does 30 and switches to the bench. So you could play like Klefkies in there. And against Lost Box, you could set up like. You could set up like two Regilecki V Max. And then you can hit and run for 90 into a. Into a Klefki or something. I think that that would be pretty pretty sweet honestly klefki seems like insane right like i'm not tripping like klefki is like the most broken card in the set right making sure i'm not missing anything i'm pretty sure klefki is the most broken card in the set that card just seems insane Uh oh, that's fine. Don't do that. I should have spread some damage with Sableye at this point. I'm like, I'm overhitting with. It's not too late. <laughs> I could play like a total doofus. Yeah, play like a total doofus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge doofus energy. Okay. Yes, play like a doofus. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. I just decided real late that I felt like using Sableye instead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I played the... Yeah, it's cool, man. We're chilling. Whatever. You know, don't think about it too much. All right. Don't think about that play too much. It'll make you sad. All right, we've got an ordinary rod. We're fine. We're cool, man. Yeah, I should not have, should not under any circumstances have these guys preloaded, but that's fine. I'm kind of, I'm kind of over this matchup. That's the sad thing about Lost Box is it takes forever to win. Even when you want to win fast. Like if I were playing like Mew VMAX or something, we could just, just get them out of here, you know? Knock it out, knock it out, knock it out. GG's. But. Oh, they've got more attackers. Lost Box should be very popular in Orlando. It should be, 
because Lost Box got all the coolest new tools. You've got Zamazenta, you've got the Sky Seal Stone. Yeah, Lost Box got all the juice. So theoretically, Lost Box should be very popular, but Lost Box is also sketchy in some ways. You feel me? Dang, man, I'm doing 220 damage and it's not enough. What the heck, dude? That's so cringe. Man. 30 damage left. That's fine. They got another caller. So they're going to have a million cards in the Lost Zone. But what are you going to do with all that? It's like they've got this really tanky deck. But, you know, my single prizers just don't really care. You know, V-Guard Energy only works against Pokemon V, so I don't have to worry about that. Radiant Gardevoir only works against Pokemon V, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm very excited. I've got all of my Scarlet and Violet cards and all of my standard cards here in the studio, and I'm going to stay for League tonight at Full Grip Games. And um, Dang it, dude. Why you got the umbrella? I'm going to stay for League tonight at Full Grip Games, and I'm going to work on my decks while I film some tabletop content of... Our standard league featuring cards from Crown Zenith. And then I'm planning on filming anyway. I might, may not. I don't know. It depends. If I'm too busy drafting up uh, decks for Thursday's stream, then I won't worry about it. But I was planning on filming a feature match every round. It should be a little bit easier since Natalie's here. All right, so you've got just 30 hit points left. All right, buddy. Let's just knock you out. <laughs> Let's just, just please get you out of here. That's fine. You don't have any other attacker. What are you going to do? You got a couple of a couple of confies, three prizes left, three cards left in deck. I think I think you're spent, bud. Yeah, I think uh I think that's it. It's time to tap out. Yeah, I'm excited. Working with a smaller card pool is going to be interesting. You know, I mean, at this point, it's been like a year and a half since the last rotation. That's a long time. So, all right, GG's. That's it. And that's going to do it for the stream today. Hopefully you guys have fun. I had a good time working on that Lost Box deck. Most definitely, this is where we ended up. It's pretty cool. Got some neat options. You can go with Zashin. Hit Pokemon VMAX for big damage. Zamazenta, just a nice, solid dude. Definitely enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah. That's it. Y'all take it easy and have a busted day. I'm going to be back at 10 a.m. tomorrow. 10 a.m. Eastern streaming uh, tabletop, Scarlet, and Violet contents with Jesse Parker. Very much looking forward to that. Should be a great time. Make sure to be there. Later.
I'll see you tomorrow.